Welcome Longhorn soccer fans to a spring homecoming edition of Longhorn TV. I am Tyler Swope, joined by a good friend of mine. He is homeschooled. Yes, he does not go to Inola, but he does know soccer, so we kind of <laughs> called him up uh, to the big leagues here. His name's Caden Pache. Nice Caden. to meet everyone. <laughs> Get that clip mic close to your mouth. Oh, my bad. <laughs> all right, so. <clears throat> brand new to this. <laughs> it's all good. So, super excited to be doing a soccer match. Uh, this is our first soccer match of the year, Caden. And, uh, yeah, we're excited to do it. We've got the 7-5 uh, and five Inola Longhorns against the, I believe, 2-7 and seven Riverfield Country Day School Ravens. Okay. It's a mouthful. Yeah, Riverfield Country Day School Ravens. Um, we're going to talk about the starting lineup here for your Longhorns. We've got we've got Hannah Tillotson, the senior, in goal. Uh, out of the Longhorns' 12 matches, she has five clean sheets this Ooh, year. That's impressive. So, solid, yeah. Allowing no goals in those five matches. Uh, you've got your <clears throat> right back, Ava Johnson, left back, Sailor Lofton, and your middle defensive backs, Brenna Wigginton and Christina Brown. You will see the, long, the Lady Longhorns here playing kind of a diamond in the back row, using Brenna as what they call the stopper, and Christina as their sweeper, moving okay. side to side. Uh, then in the midfield, you've got your um, outside mids, Brooklyn Parsons and Sam Kenny, and I think we're going to see Blakely Coltrane, a freshman, come in at those spots a lot tonight. Uh, and then you've got your center mids, Dakota Russell and Leslie Hernandez. And then got to finish with the forwards, Makaya Barnett, leading goal scorer on this team, and Brianna Armendariz, the second leading goal scorer on this team. Um, so, okay. I was at the game Tuesday. Okay. Um, it was a little rough. I'll just be honest. Some was very, they were a very technical team, um, but they played really good. I thought the midfield did very good. Um, you know, I thought uh, Brianna, is that her name? Brenna. Yes, Brenna and Dakota, they kind of switched. It felt like um, that she played up that game and Dakota played back. Yeah. So um, hoping to stay a little bit more with the formation this game, that yeah. she stays up a little bit more, um, kind of pushes the ball downfield. But last game was a lot more defensive, of course, when you're playing, like, of course, the number one team in the state. And then McKenna had a great pin, um, you know, left corner, you know, perfect. Uh, goalkeeper went that way, but she had it, you know, nice and perfect with a lot of power on it. So. Right, Makaya. Makaya. That's okay. See, again, you don't go here. Yeah. So you yep. you you go I to apologize. the you go to the Pache School of Excellence. Yeah. So and there's only two students there now. That's, that's right. That's we barely, right. Barely graduated the first two. <laughs> so I I don't just, know. The state should check her grades. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, hey, you know, there's some interesting playoff implications here okay. for the Longhorns. Um, Riverfield Country Day, unfortunately for them, eliminated from the playoffs with the district play uh, as we see the kickoff here. But the Longhorns have a real shot. They're sitting at third in the district. Okay. As we see, Parsons unable to handle that one. But they're sitting at third in the district. Uh, but if they win today and Miami wins against Commerce tomorrow, they're actually going to be tied for fourth, the way it works out. Okay. Uh, so they're, like they're fourth in the district right now, actually. So they'll be tied for fourth. And uh, then it's going to come down to that Vertigris match. And if they lose the Vertigris match, then it's going to be an overall tie between most likely them, Claremore Sequoia, okay. and... Uh, Miami. Okay. And they've all beaten each other. They've all beaten each other. It's a big tie right there in fourth place trying to get into the playoffs. And so it's going to come down to goal differential. Oh. Right now, the Longhorns are behind both Miami and Sequoia in goal differential. Okay. And so this is a big matchup. Not only do the Longhorns really need to win, great cross inside yeah. right there, but the Longhorns need to win, but they need to win by several goals. Okay. They really do. Oh, nice inside pass. Gets to the feet of Armandariaz. And the goalkeeper finally gets it under control for Riverfield. Longhorns had a scoring opportunity right there. So, yeah, I love it. Patience, like you said. Yeah. I love the way uh, Sailor plays kind of like, uh, you know, she plays forward a lot, which is good um, because it gives them another person in the box when they get down there. Um, but she's also a good defender, too, on that side. Yeah, they'll pull her. It's funny. They, they really like to leave Wigginton and Brown back. They'll let their left back and right back, Sailor Lofton and Ava Johnson, move up quite a yep. bit. They've got a lot of freedom in the back there to move up the field. As we see Parsons with the ball here, trying to pass it inside to Barnett. 
And that's going to have a chance to make a run and cross it in to Armendariz. There's the cross. It went backwards. There's Ooh, Parsons. Shot. A nice shot on goal into the bottom right and a nice save by the goalkeeper. Keep on chipping away. Longhorns are in a corner, and I believe Leslie Hernandez is going to take the corner kick. I've seen multiple impressive corner kicks from Leslie over the last couple seasons. She's really good at this. You can hear me see Lofton, like you said, pulling up. Yep. Not fully into the box on this one, yeah. obviously, if it was late in the game. Oh, no, here she goes. Yeah. She's moving into the box now. Hernandez gets it inside. Armendariz tries a little chip shot, doesn't go. Longhorns have a good chance here. Good Dakota Russell. Ooh. Ooh, I think that caught one of the Riverfield players as the goalkeeper swallows caught it up. Of, caught one of their shoulders. Good shot. Though. I thought I thought that was going. I thought it was thought, going in. I thought she had that. Two shots on goal here for the Longhorns. Really impressive start. To the game. Well, and that's what they need yeah. so far. They need shots on goal. And they need to win that battle. Riverfield struggled this season. I think if, uh, if, I, if I was a betting man, I would bet on the long this year. But it's high school sports. Nothing's guaranteed. You never know. And, you know, it's been warm all week. And all of a sudden today, it yeah. got cold. It's changed. Yeah, the Tuesday game, it was 90 degrees out there. There, you know, the second half, it just looked like everybody, like both teams were just tired out as all could be. So... And to give that ball there to Riverfield, uh, throwing it up, trying to be aggressive. I think they know they know the Longhorns are pretty solid here, and they're just going to push, push, push as much as humanly possible yeah. here. They've got a chance here if they can contain the ball. Not a good pass. I think that was a good move. Barnett, really crafty with the ball. Yeah, she is. Crosses it in to Armendariz. Armendariz takes a long shot. Another shot on goal, but this one easily saved by the keeper. I like to see the Longhorns push, though, on offense. Yes. They got As soon as they win that mid midfield ball, they need to just uh, push it up. Senior Dakota Russell from the midfield gets it out. Oh man, nice pass right back out. Parsons has a chance to cross it in, misses that opportunity, but somehow out of that, <laughs> I can barely the, the Longhorns. Well, I know you got a bad angle here. Somehow the Longhorns earn a corner kick corner again. Down. That's two corners already here for the Longhorns. It almost looks like Sailor on these corners plays right outside. If she gets one to bounce out, she's going to try to put some power on it and see if she can't hit a corner. The way she plays, you know, she doesn't go oh, all yeah. the way in that box, but she's like waiting for that rebound almost to come out to her. Sorry about that if you haven't been able to hear us. Uh, not that you've missed a ton, uh, but yeah, I think there was a, a lot of wind interference out there as we see Hernandez cross it in a little farther than she probably wanted right there on that corner. Longhorns have all their offensive players up right here. Nice control there by Hernandez. Gets it into Parsons. Parsons loses control. Gets that ball stolen. Um, well, anyway, if you couldn't hear, we talked a lot earlier about the playoff implications that uh, the Longhorns need to win this and win this big. And their offense, how hard they are pushing towards the goal is indicative of that. They know the task at hand. They know they need to score goals here. They've been in the they've been in the box cor two corners already. And here we've got Blakely Coltrane coming in for Sam Kenny. As I said, kind of an outside mid. Uh, Blakely on this team, I think she's uh, I don't know. It's scrolling at the bottom of your screen. I didn't write down all the stats. But Blakely's one of the top goal scorers, one of the top assisters on this team. So good passer. Controls the soccer ball. I dropped my pin. <laughs> it's all good. Longhorns with the ball again. Push it. Yep. And here they go. 
off and running. Nope, Hernandez can't handle that. We had a chance to mm -hmm. run. Just a little bit too much on that first touch. Armandariez looking for Barnett, I would imagine, but good defense by Riverfield right there. Doesn't let her make the easy pass. Easy pass. Dakota see throws it out ahead. That. Let's see good. if Barnett's got the speed. She's got the ball at her feet. Ooh. Chip shot doesn't go. Barely off the right. Oh, man. I thought she had that goalie coming out and everything. It was almost too easy. Yeah. Man, I know Barnett wants that one back. Yeah. I think. Does. Well, I th she had she had two Riverfield players on either side. Mm -hmm. The keeper's running at her. I, I get it. She had a tough decision to make right there. Yeah. And she's trying to get it around the goalie, but. Yeah, definitely did have a I tough think, decision. I think she had more room to keep the ball at her feet right there. Nice job by Parsons. Taking that it's ball stable. away. Again, Longhorns have a chance. Ooh. Parsons can't do anything with it this time. Dakota Russell just, just kicks, kicks it, it away. Just kicks it. Just kicks it. <laughs> That's okay. I don't know what to call that. Good job, Dakota. Dakota, member of Longhorn Media, longtime member of Longhorn Media. Shout out. We always like to shout out our Longhorn Media kids. So go, Dakota. I've been in here for about 10 minutes, I want to say. You have, Caden, proud 10 minute long member. Of Longhorn Media, I Micaiah. Like, I feel like I need a hoodie. Micaiah, again Ooh, with the ball at her good feet. Good move. Nice move around good to the right. Good Cuts in. it Ooh. to her left. Another shot on goal for the Longhorns. That's four. And we're not even ten minutes into the first half. That was a pretty impressive, too. Dude, she's, I'm she, telling you, she's good with she's the ball very, Yeah, she, can, she has very uh, – she can dribble the ball really well. Yeah, she's – She doesn't let it get too far so those defenders can get a foot in there. And if mm -hmm. they do, it's going to be, you know, probably a foul on them because of how close she keeps it. Yeah, for sure, man. She's she is. Uh, I mean, and that's part of the reason why she leads this team in goals and assists. Mm -hmm. Ten goals, five assists on the season that's for Makaya Monet. That's really good. Oh man, yeah, and that's that's in twelve games. And I was gonna say in twelve games. I mean, she's averaging at least a goal a game, a little bit more. And I thought that one was a little rough. I I really thought that I uh, Hinola could have earned the call right there, but referee says play on. That's one thing that happened Tuesday. Really rough game by both teams. Um, not really technical, just more physical at some points. Yeah. Oh man, no. Summit. Summit is a great mix, and I haven't watched them, but everything I've heard. Yeah. It they was. are. A, we got the call right there. there great was. mix of, of physicality and mm -hmm. finesse. I mean, yes. but those every one of those girls plays club soccer. Yeah, I you can tell they all that's have those their sport. backpacks. And oh yeah, that's their sport. Most of them. So they uh, they can really play. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, thirteen and zero will tell you they yeah. can really play. Looks like the wind's going against them a little bit too right now. Got Christina Brown taking this free kick here for the Longhorns. Just about to cross the 10 minutes threshold here in the first half. Barnett again with the ball at her feet. Can't hang on to this one. Hernandez though has a chance to take it back for the Longhorn offense and she does. Resets. Gets it to Coltrane. Coltrane to Russell. Lofton playing up yet again, yep. pushing up on offense on this right side here. Nice pass by Russell into Parsons. Parsons Ooh, has got to quit letting them knock her off. Mm -hmm. uh, she, she's got good angles, yeah. and she's got the ball, and she's letting them knock her off. Yeah, that's one thing I was going to say is, like, just a little bit more physical on like when you ha when you both are going for the ball. As long as you're not you know fouling, but I think you can definitely get away with a little bit of a shove. Oh no right doubt. Now. Yeah, you you've got it. I mean, soccer is a physical yeah. game. It's a contact sport. Yeah, that's what so many people don't understand about soccer. Yeah. and that's and I get it. Is it the fastest sport or the highest scoring sport? Well, of course not. But there's you change the scoring though. Think about it. Yeah, you, if, if you score if you score two touchdowns on w in, in football, right? If the Cowboys score two and the other team scores one, they only s technically put the ball in the end zone twice and once. Yeah, it's not but really the points any are different. Higher. You're right. You're right. But the points. So you're saying like we could do like okay, you know a goal's worth seven. Yeah, I and then Chris it looks better. I like Chris and Felicic say if you up the scoring, if you the scoring was you know maybe four points, and so it was like eight to two more people or eight to four more people would watch. Yeah, you might be right. He might be. He might have a point there. I mean, he would know. He's I so definitely good. enjoy watching any soccer though. I know you do. That's why I was yeah. when I saw you walking up, I was like, oh, I got to get Caden <laughs> on here with me. It was going to be Brooke. It was going to be Brooke. Hey, shout out to Brooke Walker, hey by guys. the way. Hey, Brooke I'm is in the building. <laughs> Just a I'm shout out. I'm going to take my spot because I don't know soccer. And that's okay. But 
Brooke, we're proud of you. Brooke signed her letter of intent to go play volleyball at Northeastern Oklahoma. I ate some of those today. donuts. They were very good. Yep, there was donuts there. It thank was you, awesome. Thank you, Brooke. I ate two of those donuts. Uh, didn't need two donuts, but I felt like, you know, probably should eat two mm. donuts. Every uh, time they, they oh, big, big, big mess. Big mess by the defender. Barnett's got an angle here. She's going to have a chance to cross it into Armendaria if she her. wants it. Oh. Almost had her. Almost. Still going after the ball is Barnett. And that's what you got. What's funny about people, like, I mean, everybody knows you run a lot in soccer. But Barnett just ran almost 40 yards. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she yeah. Just in one little run right oh, there. Come on right there. Oh. I'll tell you what, this keeper's pretty good. Yeah, I was going to say, this goalie knows when to come she, out. She, she has done a great job coming out. And she's had so balls. many shots oh, man. already, and she's she's done very good on every yeah. single one, I feel like. I don't even think that one was a shot. Yeah. It was just an errant pass, and, and she knows to come yeah. out and get it. And if it, she I stays mean, back, you know, that she has a you know one-on-one -on -one 10 feet away from the goalie. Yep. And the best goalkeepers have that kind of that sixth sense of knowing when to leave mm -hmm. the goal, knowing when to charge after mm -hmm. someone coming. And, I, and, heck, it may be her. It may be something she's coached to do by the coaches. Like when Micaiah had that run, as we see now, Parsons come off the field and Sam Kinney into her spot in the midfield. Um, you know, it may be one of those things that her coaches teach her. If it's a if it's a one on one, you come out of the goal. Yep. Make that player yep. make the right decision. Yep. Especially that's it's hard to do at this level unless you've been trained as a as a striker too. You know. Yeah. How to make that you know that chip shot work or. Oh, it's I, mean, yeah. I, I would know how to do it. But again, I I've watched soccer. I don't know how to coach yeah. soccer or play soccer. That's what I'm saying. Like I can I can tell people exactly what to do, but I don't know how to coach it exactly <laughs> what to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can tell them the theory behind it. Yeah. But Dakota Russell tries to get it into the box oh. here to oh. Sam Kenny, Makaya uh, Barnett, another shot on goal. Yeah, just straight to the goalkeeper yeah. that time. Really, I think that goalkeeper. I think it, any side, if she goes left or right, she had her too. Yeah, I think um, you're right. I don't think she was ready for that that entrance pass. I don't think she was. Yeah, she didn't have any power on that shot yeah. at all. And really, she had a gap, too. She may have been able to take it up a few steps and then put some power on it. So far, Longhorn's absolutely dominating time of possession. I mean, I, again, it, I don't have the exact time in front of yeah. me, but of the almost 15 minutes that have been played, Riverfield's barely yeah. had the ball at their yeah. feet. I mean, this is this is – Domination and the Longhorns have to put some of these in the goal. Mm, they do, that, especially one before half. That makes a big deal. I know. Oh, good pass. Can't Ooh, get it. Nope, not able to save it. Hernandez was running. No, I don't know if this is because the ball has been on the left side, but they haven't tried Sailor locked inside in a while. And I saw that against Summit too. Um, they really didn't want to try her side because she's more that physical uh, defensive back. Oh yeah, Sailor will hit you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's no. I coached Sailor when she was a, in junior high playing basketball. She'll hit you, <laughs> and it so may be out of control too. You got to watch out. She might yeah. hurt you. And so but she's she's. They definitely. I don't think they want to go to her side anymore because she's definitely. They haven't been able to get one past the thirty on her. No, not anywhere over there. Which was really impressive. Oh, oh. another errant pass. Barnett's trying to do a lot mm -hmm. in the middle of the field right now. And really, they want her at forward. They want her more pushed up, but she keeps getting drawn back into the middle. Way to run up on it. Ooh, Ooh, good got pass. through. There we go. Barnett's got a chance here. She cuts it inside. Yeah. I want her to shoot it herself. Go left corner. <sighs> oh, great shot. That was a great shot. Another shot on goal for the Longhorns. They're sitting at six shots on goal already. Looks like we got uh, Riverfield's it. wanting something called on Inola. I'm not sure. I mean, I so I thought maybe a foul. I saw I saw um, number nine, uh, Brianna. I saw her kind of give a little shove when she was going uh, for the ball. I down think there. that that's probably and it. I thought maybe offsides too, just because you know that ball was there. But I don't think so because the defender got to it first. And yeah, she just no, it wasn't offsides. Yeah. I think that's what they're wanting. They're wanting the shove on Armendariz, yeah. and so they got it, got the goal kick, but kicked it right to Leslie Hernandez. The middle of the field, they got to keep a uh, a player right there. You see that middle right there. Mm -hmm. Well, Caden, you play any FIFA? So I yeah. do play FIFA. You do? Okay. Um, 
So when I first started, uh, Chet used to just kill me. He would use like the worst team, and I would use like Barcelona, Real Madrid. He'd kill me like six six one six zero. Oh man. Um, I got better and better, and so now we can actually have a competitive game where nice. like Chet can use a good team. Nice. Um, and I can play. And then uh, we went over <laughs> we went over to Jackson's house last week after. What a pass! Sorry, I'm not. No, no, that's a great pass. Ooh, what a Ooh. pass by Barnett. Anyway, um, and we went over to Jackson's house last night or last Wednesday, and he's playing FIFA now. And uh, so I played a round of FIFA at his house. Love it. And then we went to lunch after Brooks signing, and I was asking, you know, do you know any players on this team? Do you know any players on this team? Oh, man. I think FIFA is one of those sports games I I can get really – I'm not as critical of it as I am like uh, NBA 2K Mm -hmm. or Madden. Sports I'm a little more familiar with. I'm not as critical about FIFA. I can just enjoy playing FIFA. Uh, I can get really addicted to it, even yeah. as a 33 year old, which is why I haven't played it in a while because yeah. I have three children. I got a. Uh, you have your own team where you can create, and I just there was one day I think I spent like four hours, and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to get outside. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can do that when you're homeschooled. Yeah, I can. <laughs> the rest of us were in school, but yeah. uh, <laughs> and I went to fill you in. He was t- Jackson, Jackson Welch, an old basketball player. Chet, that's Caden's homeschool friend. Can I just call you a homeschool friend, Chet? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Chet, going to UCO? Is that where O-B-U. you're going? OBU. I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember. OBU, going to play football. Chet and Caden. Caden could have gone somewhere to play football, but Caden, I think, is ending his own career. Mm-hmm. I was maybe going to go to NSU, got an offer, but I just decided against it. No, I Great pass. Let's see. Hey. Okay, good pass to the middle. Okay, here we got a chance to run now. Stay on sides. This is Sam Kenny with the ball at her feet. Oh, I th- see, I think she should have kept it. I longer. did too. She had so much room to work so with. So much green in front of her. Oh, good she move. She gets it to Barnett. Barnett gets around. Good pass. Corner right from there, right Barnett. There. Oh, oh, Hernandez with whiffs. the miss hit. That was that was an amazing pass. Just a Man. just a missed opportunity right there to put the put the game away, really, or at least get up one zero. But yeah. right now it's just I know it's just dominating time of possession. Oh, I mean, Riverfield's barely had the it ball. It feels like it's always on you know this side of the fifty. After uh, the whiff, Hernandez gonna get a breather. Parsons back in the game for her. That's kind of the the. The ones you see getting breathers for the Longhorns, and you've seen it watching a couple games, it is the midfielders. Yep. A lot of subs in and out for midfielders, but they're running the most. Yes, they are. They do a lot of running. Um, one person that just, like like you said, has just impressed me every time I watch is, is Barnett. There we and go. she gets it right now. She's got a chance. Nice defense there by Riverfield. Mm. Dakota Russell sneaks it through. Again, I'm not even going to count that as a shot. That's That's more of a pass there from Russell. I wish she would have gone to the right to, I think, Sam mm-hmm. um, because she had no one on her, and that defender was coming over to Dakota on that that left that right side. Really, it just seemed like. Um, Oof. Miss hit there by Lofton, but Tillotson is there. Smartly leaves the goal. It just seems like the other team, as soon as they get the ball down there, there's only two people, and they're just trying to make it work against five defenders, and that you, you can't do that. Well, you know, I, I really wonder, you know, because what you talked about, the Longhorns make it a little bit of a shift against Summit Christian on Tuesday. Um, part of that shift is they know how talented Summit Christian is. They're 13-0, mm-hmm. 7-0 and now in the district. They're district champs. Yep. They know, they knew going in, they'd watched film, they knew how good that team was. Yes, very good. And I think Riverfield might know how good Inola is, and so the decisions they're making are stay mm-hmm. back on defense, yep. stay back. Because that's Don't what I felt them. like they did with Dakota is pulled her back yeah. as a – I asked her, I said, do you play defensive midfield? She goes, no, usually I'm the one up. Yeah, she, and, but against that team, they're so – I mean, that – honestly, that game – and, again, I wasn't there. You were there. All the girls said that one really should have been more of like a 3-1 or 4-1 it, it, game. It did seem like it. It seemed like the refs were starting to get kind of picky. Um, crosses ooh, it into Parsons. Good first I was, touch. Ah. I'm surprised that wasn't offsides. But yeah, me too. I she was she on the other side. Maybe there was a girl on this side that the, the ref thought. The I'm shot. Not, Oh, so close. That um, was That wild. was a good shot. Yeah, it was Blakely right there off the left foot. Um, but, yeah, I felt like anything that, like, started happening, it was like a free kick. And then, you know, the team just, after five, they just started getting down on themselves. Yeah, that's – and that's tough. I mean, that's – the same thing happened in the boys' game. Yeah, I was there for half the boys' game. and Same thing. It was, it was 1-0 for a long time, and then – 
Summit just they had this big dude for like a soccer player. Yeah. Um, they had two guys. They had one guy that was looked like he was six four, then one guy six three, and they were just wow. dominating the midfield. And then they would just they were shooting it from twenty thirty yards out. Wow. <laughs> so they were yeah, you know, like you said, those were two impressive teams. Yeah, just big physical teams. Now I'll tell one thing. I know I didn't back down. No, I I don't think either of the teams have much back down in them. They're uh, no. you know, and the boys this evening they're in for their interesting matchup. If they win their last two, they're in. Okay. And and that would be really, as Riverfield has it, their Good first clear. real chance right here. Nice clear there by Blakely. Kind of getting in the mix defensively. But, yeah, I, I think that uh, that. Mm, that was on the kick. I don't. Dakota's oh. very, do you see her? When yes. You see when Dakota touches her temples yep. and then does the, you know, the hands it in the air. It almost looks like she's, like, <clears throat> trying to read the rest of mine, kind of, like, communicate. Yeah. Because she went for the ball, didn't even go for the player. Hit yeah. the ball, then the player tripped over Dakota's yeah. leg. Totally legal. Yeah. If, as long as she hits the ball first, it's she entirely was, yeah, legal. She was not even going for her, that player. She hit, the, like you said, she hit the ball, finished, and then that girl fell over her leg. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't like that. This call is where they had some trouble against Summit with the free kicks. Well, this is the first free kick opportunity for Riverfield. Crosses it in too far. That was a that was a really good kick. It I was a good kick. Had a lot of power on it. Yeah, it was a good kick for sure. Now I'd love to see Barnett stay up mm -hmm. instead of drifting to the right and let her go straight down the middle because it seems like she always has a step on number seventeen. Well, she <laughs> I'm telling you right now, Barnett can go right whenever she wants. Mm -hmm. She takes one stutter step, boom, she's yep. gone to the right. And, and that's against most defenders. Mm -hmm. She gets by a lot of defenders. She got she got by the summit defenders, which was again very impressive, like you yeah, said. They're, Cause yeah, they're because this is that's their sport for summit. It's been their sport for a long time. Um oh, I used to go there as a very little kid. Good pass. Yeah, summit that that's the whole thing. Yeah, that's yeah. a nice move by Kenny here. But too much of a touch on that ball. I know it's a throw in. Yeah, a little throw in here. Still got about 16 minutes here just in the few, first half. Yeah, just a few missed opportunities and <laughs> be like 2 3 0 right now. Longhorns need to make the most of this opportunity, though. As Lofton almost. Mm. Oh, she does throw it out of bounds. Trying too hard to make something happen there mm -hmm. to Barnett. Again, they have – Riverfield has what, two past the fi 50? Yeah. And they got – and I know that's, you know, three defenders back there. You have, again, Sailor playing up, almost like Kinsella on Barcelona. He loves to play up and be that back. Oh, straight to Barnett. Mm. Shout out Jajun Yang. <laughs> Had to <laughs> hand him his drink. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, I wish we we need a camera in here. We really do. We need a camera in here to cut to us every once in a while. Yeah. Just see what's going on. I feel see like who's in the booth. I feel like that that's a lot of entertainment, especially with homeschoolers. You probably you know we're very pale because we never see the light of day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chet walked up. I thought a ghost was in here. <laughs> I'm kidding, Chet. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> when we do high low Buffalo this week in Sunday school, I have a new high. There you go. I got to announce with Tyler Swope. Yeah. Dream come true. Watch a little soccer and make references. Like you're making Barcelona references. I mean, my goodness. So that is my favorite team. Yeah. Um, why is that your favorite team? So why is that my favorite team? So when I was a really little kid, my brother used to show me, you know, MSN, uh, highlights, Messi, Suarez, oh, Neymar. Yeah. And then about last year when the World Cup was happening, I'll give credit to mostly Chet, but even you a little bit talking about the World Cup. Chet got me into soccer. He was oh. like, hey, just, you know, soccer's fun to watch. And I thought, well, I was like, Chet, you, you're so weird. Goalie scoops it Way up. out there. Yeah. She was 20 yards Maybe from the goal. That yeah. was crazy. All that it would take with one pass, if, if an Inola player would have got their mm -hmm. feet on that, it's almost impossible to stop them from scoring there. That was crazy. Okay, so so Chet got you in the World Cup, got you. In. That's that's when soccer hooked me. Mm -hmm. um, is is watching the World Cup, and and I listen. I'm a bad soccer fan, um, partially because uh, I really started following Chelsea because mm. when Christian Pulisic played for them. Yes, I do. Um, Chelsea's a fun club. Well, they're not. They're, no, they're, they're not. They're they trash. They're garbage. I love to um, watch uh, Cole Palmer. Okay, he's yeah. he's a uh, basically never gets to play because of Holland. And yeah. now he's is just dominating the Premier League. Um, I mean, really dominating. He had 
two hat tricks uh, back to back, which is very impressive. In the well, didn't they play like Everton last week or something? Yes, like, they did. On. But the one before <laughs> was Man United. And okay, well that's good. I didn't see that one. See, that's what I, I again. I follow. I see headlines. I've got like the old uh, the Premier League app, mm. and so I get the the updates when they do stuff. I'm just a bad fan. They mm. play at weird times. I can't yes, get it they consistent. Do. Two right. o'clock, you know, they play Champions League soccer, and it's nine o'clock over in those exactly. countries. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's a weird time as we have a uh, couple substitutions. We've got Leslie Hernandez back on for Dakota Russell, and we've got Reese Elliott in the game for Sam Kenny. Um, but yeah, like it's just a weird. It's a it's weird over here, and I'm not. Listen, I mean, I'm not like so pure of a fan to be like. You know, oh, I want to watch. Good I want to watch. Uh, I don't want to watch MLS. You know what I mean? Yeah. Here's Reese with the ball at her feet with a chance to cross it in. Good. Oh, Another good shot. Another shot on goal. That was a very good from the side. Very good shot. Um. Um. But yeah, so I kind of fell in love with Barcelona because of Robert Lewandowski, though. Oh. Um. Lewandowski? That's why. Because. Like the the Dutch. Uh, he's Dutch. Po Poland. Oh, Polish. That's right. That's right. He's um, Polish. Because right. of his, he uh, when he scored five goals in nine minutes with um, Bayern Munich. Yep. That's um, and so I and I love uh, I love Gabby too. He's, okay. He's a I midfielder that just has so much passion, um, and he's diving with his head where pe people barely put their feet because they're scared yeah. to get kicked. Love that. Okay. Um, and so yeah, and I love watching Premier League too. Premier League is there's never a game where you're gonna watch and be bored. Uh, That's what I think. I it, agree with that. It feels like every team's in it to win, like in the top eight. Yeah. Um, if they played at normal times, dude, I think <laughs> it would be way up on my list. I agree. Like, I, 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 and listen, this is a hot take because American football is king. Like, I get it. It is what it is. I like football. I do. But honestly, Ooh. for me, basketball is king for me. Mm. I will watch a basketball game over anything. And a close number two is volleyball, but I coach volleyball, mm -hmm. so I'm watching it from a different angle. Mm -hmm. Coach it, you just do. Um, any coach will tell you that. Once you've coached a sport, you watch it from a different way. And I watch basketball in a different way, same thing. I coach basketball. So those are my top two, but like, honestly, if I watched more soccer, soccer would probably be number yeah, three for it's me. It's just some of the things that they can do with their feet, most people can't even dream of doing. I, it's nuts. No, the, the pros are, are crazy. Yeah. So I just bought a soccer ball the other day. To work on my dribbling for yeah, fun, just for fun, man. Dakota, play some intramurals. Dakota, yeah. Dakota talked about getting an indoor soccer league with yeah. me, Chet Jackson. So I'm hoping to do that. Dude, you should. It's my, uh, and I've never done it, but my aunt played indoor soccer for years. Yeah, it sounds fun. Yeah, she loved it. Oh. She loved it. That passed. Oh, ooh, I thought that may have been a little push. No push there. Okay. Wow. That you know. Trying to get a shot on goal. Still no shots on they goal for Riverfield. It feels like they haven't shot one. Uh, Inside the 10 right now, they they've, they've they been have at the 20 every time. They're just launching 20-yard shots. And they and have some power behind them, too. Yeah, but that's what they're doing. They're just launching 20-yarders. I can understand why they're 2-7. and seven. I mean, yeah, it's part of it. Part they of do it. have some – they got some athletes, but I feel like their athletes are up front. Mm -hmm. um, no defenders back there. The pass. Yeah, Christina, right, to Barnett. Maybe. Now you got to make a move to the right again. Come on. She kicks it up to the middle. I, I – Oh, oh, here we go. Okay. Hernandez with – or no, that's Armandariez with a chance. Come on. Right there. Come on. Rihanna Armandariez. Go! That was Good great. Good shot. Man, great goal by Brianna pa Armandariez. Paused the goalkeeper. She was coming out, but then she paused, and that gave her enough time to hit it right in the left corner. Beautiful. Man, what a great goal for Brianna. And that right there. Is why soccer's fun. Because, again, we've been waiting this whole time. We've had chance after chance. Let me ask you a question. If you watch football, you watch volleyball, you watch these sports, and they score, yeah. you're like, let's go. But if you get a goal in soccer, you watch oh, those fans. That stadium Go ballistic. Rocks. And one thing, too, yeah. I watch. Um, you see a team win a trophy, right? Athletic Bilbo in the La Liga. Yeah. Um, they won a trophy for the first time in 40 years. Their fans are crying. That's it yeah, means so much to them. It means so much to them. And that's them, one yeah. thing I love about soccer. It's like this is like the heartbeat of a country or a, a town or a city. Long another, with another chance right pass. here. Pass through get to it. Barnett. They're trying to knock her off her path, oh. and they do a really good job of that. That was good defending. Wow. Really good pass by um, number nine. That was really beautiful uh, through pass. Just a little too much on it maybe. Yep. A little bit too much from Brianna there. But, but had, had the right idea. I'm I'm just sitting here hoping, because again, like I said, the, the, there's a really good chance that goal differential is gonna be the tiebreaker. How many goals do you say they need? 
just as many as they can. I, 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 they need to win by four. Okay. okay. So here's the deal. Right so now, let's as try to get it another stands, goal this half. Yeah. Let's let's say because again, the Longhorns' last game against Ver is against Verdigris, number two in the district. Really, really good. They have played a bunch of five A and six A teams in okay. their non-district schedule. I mean, they schedule tough. Verdigris, they they're they're really tough. I think they're beatable. I think they're beatable. But, again, if, if you're a betting man, the, they would be a favorite mm -hmm. over Inola, realistically. Makes so, sense. knowing that, knowing that, if the Longhorns were to finish and they beat Riverfield tonight and then they lose to Verdigris, uh, and then Sequoia beats Riverfield and loses to Verdigris, and Miami beats Commerce tomorrow night, if all that happens, it's going to come down to a three-way tie for third and fourth. Kay. Right now, the Longhorns' goal differential is two. Sequoia's goal differential is five, mm -hmm. and Miami's goal differential is six. Okay, and so it, obviously it depends on what the, what happens in those games too, right? I mean, it's not just this game that matters, but for the Longhorns to give themselves the best tiebreaker chance, they need to score. They need to outscore Riverfield by as many goals as possible. Um, and so I'm hoping the floodgates were opened mm -hmm. by that Armandariez goal. Really, I. Ooh, Barnett crosses oh. it in. Let's see if he can get in. Parsons oh, is trying. The oh, goalkeeper. Goalie oh, I thought. I thought that was a little bit of a push by the goalkeeper, but ah, they're gonna let the goalkeeper. Yeah, do that. They're, they're, definitely. <laughs> they're not gonna call that on the keeper. Only way I mean, they call it on the keeper is if she comes out really, t just no way they can get a shot off. You know, right? You yeah. ba you barely see a goalkeeper, you know, red or yellow. Yeah, you're not gonna see it that often. Try. That's the first time I've seen it get down Sailor's side. I think because she was playing so far up. Yeah. Just kick it away. That's smart. Got to throw in for Riverfield. Really, though, that was a very impressive run um, with that goal. Oh, man. Um, I mean, she that took was it. She had a defender on her right, and she just puts it, you know, straight yeah. to the left. Well, and we talked about it. We 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 talked about Inola wanting to push up the middle, right? They've been so much to the outside, and you mentioned Ooh, it, actually, yes. pushing up the middle. And then the one time they've really pushed truly up the middle – they score a goal. Mm -hmm. Nice sidestep right Good. there by Barnett. Barnett Good. cuts it back to her left. Let's go. Nice move with the ball at her feet. Russell's going to have a chance to cross it here. She crosses it right to the goalkeeper. Just two yeah. Not much you could do with that. And it that's a little out ahead of her. That's my thing. As soon as they go to the right, you see that whole de defense move. So if they could have someone almost run behind them. Mm -hmm. um, one player that does a great job of that, just watching is Jude Bellingham playing in the midfield for Real Madrid. Um, and he just follows waiting for that. You know, the time they leave that middle open, just kick it away by yeah. Sailor. Yeah, no, I, I think I think that's what the Longhorns need. I, but I almost like the idea of truly attacking up the middle. I agree. And then you've got two short. Because mm -hmm. they converge the way their defense is playing right yeah. now. As soon as the ball goes to yep. the outside. Three come over. Yeah, they're converging on it. So if it's a quick pass from, if you get it oh, deep in the middle. Well, she she's off sides. I don't think I don't she th was. Uh. Oh, they're going to call it. Great pass. I didn't think she was. I didn't think she, I thought she literally came back too, um, and looked at the ref. I know she was offsides at first, but she like you as you saw, she took three steps uh, backwards. That's what I thought. Just I to make it even, but I didn't think she was. I thought it was a very good. Uh, Where's the VAR? Yep, that's what I was yelling on Tuesday <laughs> at the ref. But uh, <laughs> of course you were. I thought Jackson was gonna get kicked out. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. He's a uh, he. His his trash talking for Dakota needs to get a little bit better. Oh, I'm imagine. Um, it was like Dakota got pushed. He's like. That's a foul. <laughs> I was like Jackson. <laughs> Let's put some that's energy the, into it. That's the energy he brings. I, that's great, though. That's just Jackson, you know? Yeah. Oh, man. But like I was saying, I would just love to see an attack up the middle. Mm -hmm. Get, like, inside the box. Yeah. Then it's a quick pass out yep. and a quick and then pass in, and, and I think you're going to be able to tap it And if it that in. goalie comes out like she's been that, doing, and you go to the left, it's a tap in. That's what I'm saying. It's a tap in goal yeah. if, if you can attack it. Now, I get it. It's not easy to attack up the middle. I'm not sitting here saying that's easy. Yeah. And that might be exactly what the Longhorns are trying to do. I don't, I'm yeah. not on the sideline. Yeah, we know. do not have the – we didn't get to watch film today. No. I was invited yeah, to yeah. watch film by Valentina. I don't think Valentina gets to make the rules, but <laughs> – she invites me to everything. <laughs> Val. <laughs> Val's so funny. Val's freezing down there. She, she definitely. Is, she is huddled up to Isabel Helling as though it is her lifeline. I, I mean, know. I, I've never seen anything like it. I have not. <laughs> I have not seen it either. I mean, this is, this is, she's like, acting like it's frigid. And Sailor, it is cold. Don't Sailor get me is just wrong. a brick wall down there. There is not a ball going to get past her, and it's very impressive. Reese. Mm. Oh, no, not a good touch there yeah. for Reese. 
how, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm seeing everybody down here in coats all bundled up, and I'm in a T-shirt and shorts. So I was in a T-shirt and shorts, too, and Jackson gave me a hoodie. I made a mistake. Um, and I feel really Inoli, Inolian. Oh, yeah? Because I got – Oh, you've got an I know long one's basket. And then you said we on. could get our student cards. Yeah, we next gotta get week. You your, yeah, you're here so often. Yeah, we're here so often. Why not? Yeah, so. gotta get you your student IDs, you yeah. and Chet. So hopefully, hopefully we can. You have all sports passes. Oh yeah, I gotta get you some all sports. Me and Chet are me and Chet are oh, over there, and she goes walks past me and Chet. She's like all sports pass. <laughs> oh, still Longhorn ball. <laughs> Little under three minutes left here in this half. Longhorns looking to push and try to put another one in goal. I think putting another one at half would really maybe get Riverfield spirits down, and then they could put two more, three more oh. in the second half. Um, I've jokingly told the girls all week, 8-0, 8-0. That's what I've been saying. I said it to Dakota. That's well, the hey, last I thing I said it. to Dakota, 8-0. They need to watch some Ted Lasso. That's right. Believe, baby. I need to watch that show. Believe. It's so good. It's so good. You gotta get past the cursing, but okay. yeah, it's 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 that's the hard part. It's it's a lot of cursing. I, I think but it's, it's how they talk over in, in England a lot, yeah. you know? They're yeah, trying well, to be true to the culture. Kind of the just that's one thing I talked to Valentina is just the culture in other countries is so different from here. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And that's part of the thing I was saying about soccer. The soccer is like, you know, she talks about her dad. AC Milan, that's his team. That's oh like yeah? when they win, they that is like you know, that makes his year. That's awesome. Um, That's awesome. So I told her I'm coming to her house um, next year. Me, me, Jackson, Chet, Brooke, you know, the whole gang going to show up to her house, and then we're going to go to AC Milan game. That'd be awesome. Uh, Valentina says she's paying for the tickets. I don't know how she's going to pay for all those tickets. Maybe it's just me because maybe I'm the she's only one rich. who likes soccer. <laughs> yeah, maybe she knows, like, this isn't going to happen. It's an easy promise. Oh, good pass. Oh, what a pass. Barnett's got a chance if she can outrun the defender. Oh, ah. uh, look, again, great job by the goalkeeper coming yeah, out of the really ball. really great. I mean, it, she has probably stopped – Three to four goals mm -hmm. at this point. Not just shots on goal. Yeah. One pass Stacey there, and that's in the goal. On, right up the middle. Good pass. That's, that's what, what you need. Barnett's going to have a chance. She's going to have to use her left foot if she wants it, I think. What'd they call? They ca What'd they call? Did they call offsides? No, he didn't. What then? The, did the middle ref call it? Because Dakota took it, and then that pass, but it looked like Barnett was behind the, the defender. What does this mean? That's, is that, I don't know. I think that's the offside. Yeah, right? I think he must have called. He had to have called offsides. Yeah. There was definitely no other penalty. So he called offsides. Unbelievable. I thought she, I thought there was a defender. The right defender was up. Or left defender. Oh, My no right doubt. Or left. Let's see if the Longhorns can get possession back here with under a minute remaining. Remember, no stoppage time in high school. We yes. just go to the buzzer. I wish there was some stoppage time. Me too. Makes it very interesting, you know. Got that 80. In high school, you know, be like 84th minute. Right. Get a lot of special moments. I didn't even write down when Rihanna's goal was. I don't know what minute it was in. I don't know, but it was it was impressive. Oh, was and like you said, that that middle, it looks like that that middle is almost just so tired from Inola pushing the ball down the field every single time. I'm telling you, I th I think that's going to be the halftime talk from Coach Coltrane too. and her staff. Like let's let's get it up the middle. Because, again, 1-0 is not going to get this done. And you done. can see she's talking to him right there. I think she's asking about that offsides. Might be. I don't think it was a good call at all. Um, I think that's half. Yep, that is. We're going to head to halftime here with uh, Brianna Armendariez's goal being the only goal put on the board here. But we're going to head to halftime with the Longhorns up 1-0. We're going to take a 10-minute break, and we will be back with second half action right here on Longhorn TV.
Welcome back, Longhorn soccer fans, to second half action here in Inola. We've got our Longhorns with a 1-0 lead over Riverfield. And they're going to be looking to put more than one goal Look, on the board here. Looks like a half. lot more attacking. Hello? Oh, come on. You know, really, everybody played really well. They did. Um, good in, good I mean, cutback. So you've got a better angle than I do now. Good shot. Go! Oh, oh, what a shot. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. That's what I thought. Who was that? Dakota kicked back Dakota? To, to number 23. Oh, to Blakely Coltrane. And she set up and just put put a boot on it. Wow. Now, that was about from the 20-yard line. That's a 30-yard shot right there um, to the left corner. That was really, really impressive. Right? Wow. That goalie, hit, that goalie stood no chance. She was about, you know, five feet up thinking that, you know, she's going to try to kick in, and she just – that's that is a way to start a half and right I, there for Nola's the Longhorns. And got some. Now they have some the momentum, and they are going to attack. See that? This is the time. Right down the middle. There you go. Okay. I. Sam Kenny, little miss touch right there. Just check it again. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> from there, from thirty, Blakely. Um, she was yeah. like, she was like Steph Curry there. She was pulling, you know. Oh. She went oh. for it there with that left foot. I thought that may have been a handball. Maybe just hit the forearm. Back to her here. Goes to her left. Blakely likes going to her left. Still a player on that left side right there. So that's where she Kenny. did shut up with her, her left foot. Yeah. Really did. That was a powerful strike. Ava Johnson from left back pulling all the way up here. And I think that should be. Man, I still can't believe it. I wish we had instant replay right now. That Me goal, too. holy that was, cow. That is one of the most impressive goals that I've was. seen in any any high school, you know, She's just perfect, top left corner. Yeah. Perfect. I mean, that was unbelievable. And For the freshman. That's exactly that's the freshman. Yeah. And that's exactly what a lot of teams do. They get their that midfielder, Dakota, to pass out to someone who can strike it like that. Yeah, no and doubt. I don't know if that was the plan, but that was impressive. And we've got a, uh, the third Inola corner kick of the game here. Sorry if I'm blocking you pulling up here. Oh, no, you're good. I'm kind of looking at the screen. Wait for the – Oh, come on. Man, what good a great – Corner kick. Dakota, Holy cow. Dakota almost had that. That defender was there, too, to kind of chip it away. Good corner, like you said, though. Whew, man, Not Leslie is good at those corners. I'm telling you. Yeah, she'd have a lot of impressive ones. <laughs> I mean, that is that is my number one note. I came to a couple – I mean, I, I commentated a couple soccer games last year. and Dakota's there again. That, that was my biggest takeaway was, holy cow, can Leslie Hernandez mm -hmm. kick a corner kick. She is unreal. Right down the middle again. Yeah, look, they're they're attacking yep. up the middle for sure this time. Armandarez gets it. Apparently, I'm saying Brianna's last name wrong. But Brianna, Brianna's so nice. I've probably said her last name wrong for years. I had her as a freshman in class. I, now she's a senior. I've only called her number nine, so please forgive me. I no, it's fine. I j I feel bad if I'm saying her name wrong, Brianna. How do you, how do you say it? <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to say how I said it because apparently it's Armandares. Where is Brooke Walker? Armand, Armandares. I don't know. I, it's so bad. I'm bad. Okay. How do you say the last name? Armandares. Arman, Armandares. Armandares. Gosh, uh, Brianna, you should have told me. Years ago. I'm sorry. She's too nice. Brianna would never. Um, hmm, what do we got here? I'm not sure. I'm, see. I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, I don't know. Maybe there was a stoppage of time, so he's just going to drop okay. it here. He's I thought maybe some she was kick. doing some time wasting. I didn't know. No, I don't, I'm not really sure what was happening. Oh, oh, we have a player stumbling. Just falling. That's one thing that, uh, you know, I haven't seen a lot. You know, I came to a few games last year, but Dakota used to just fall randomly. <laughs> 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 she doesn't do that anymore. <laughs> I love that. Oh, good. Oh. Hey, so a small shift that I do want to point out here. Um, Micaiah Barnett now in center mid with Dakota Russell at mm -hmm. the forward position. Uh, makes you wonder if because Barnett's been able to dribble around them, they want the ball at her feet mm -hmm. more and then use Dakota as one that they can cross it yeah. in there too. She's tall. She can get a header. And Dakota just got that assist for the, that last one. And as you saw, Saylor was playing back last time. Yep. I know she's up now, but she's been playing back most of the time. Just <laughs> kick it out again. Yeah. So she's not playing up, so I think maybe they're – yeah, I'm, in, I'm interested to see what, what the move is here. Again, you're going to see Wigginton and Brown back yeah. almost at all times. You see Wigginton and Brown there around the 40-yard line. Yeah, I think Saylor's good enough to get back, so I think you keep her up. 
She's up quite a way. I mean, she's near the 20. Yeah. I mean, she's up. But I think the deal is her and Ava Johnson, the left back here, number 13, you can probably see her at the bottom of your screen. Um, her and Ava, what I'd call it, is on a string, like a yo-yo. So yeah. if Ava's coming up because the ball's on the yep. left side, then Sailor hangs yep. back. If the ball's on the right side, which it was the entire first half, yes. we talked about that, then they're going to have Sailor come up right that's, there. That's what I, I love. You know, you take – when you have a you know right and left back that can attack – that makes it so much harder for the other team to do anything on offense because your defense is so worried. Oh, yeah. No, that's exactly right. And that's why they're doing this. And they're, listen, will Inola do this against Vertigris next week? I don't know. It's going to depend on what them watching film and, and seeing what Vertigris has. But I would love it if they would take a more offensive approach and mm -hmm. just go after people. But that's just my mentality. Yeah. I just – some people say the best uh, the best offense is a good defense, and I don't agree. The best offense is a good offense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, yeah, you see, look at the Chiefs. That's right. I know it's a, the other, you know the other football. Um, the other, the American football. But if you watch, they never have a defense. Sam Sets with a chance. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, good Just power, good off. power on it. Just off target there, going for that left corner. But, no, I agree with you. Putting As soon as you start putting that ball on that, that goal, you get the other team, they start to worry more and more. Like It's, it's like that in every, in every high school sport, yeah. isn't it? I mean, how many times were you on the football field and you guys scored two quick touchdowns and the other team was like, oh gosh, this is over? Metro Christian. <laughs> I mean, it, it just – it just happens. It's probably happened to you, too. It, it definitely has. Yeah, where a team has put two or three quick scores on you, and you're like, golly, like, we mm -hmm. can't come back from this. And it, it stinks, cause especially like from a coach's perspective. Like You always want your athletes to believe, and so you're always going to keep coaching them. You're always going to coach them to believe and know you can come back. Um, and I've been fortunate enough to be part of some pretty crazy comebacks in volleyball and basketball over the years. I've um, been a part of a few – with basketball, yeah, um, and with football, mostly football because that's the sport. Yeah, that's that's your main sport, right? One thing that I, soccer teams that sometimes need to, uh, um, add on is when they score that next goal, they need to just be more aggressive because mm -hmm. you see a lot of teams they score goals and back to back minutes because they score that first one and that team's not ready for them to be aggressive. They think they're going to sit back, right? Because they just scored a goal, they're satisfied, kind of thing. Sailor leaving her post, going to the left side. Completely leaving where she's supposed to be. But now she's playing midfield. She's playing it very well. Let's see well. what Sailor can do. Uh, oh, got to yep, be. Good call. Yep. Good call. I'd put, um for that free kick, I'd put number 23. <laughs> I think you might see Blakely kick it. Let's see. Um, it's going to be a free kick from the 20. I think that's a good I call. it's going to be Blakely. Yep. I think that's a very good call. Yep. We're going to have Blakely here taking this free kick for the Longhorns. Let's see. You got the you, – I think the goalie's playing a little to her left. Yeah. She's, she's got the leg. Just a little too much that That'd time. be good for three points on a football game. Yep. So, uh, Bring her in. American football. Let's go. It's good for three. I think it should be 5-0 now. <laughs> I think that's the most impressive some person can do with a soccer ball. <laughs> You're trying to go for the goal, and she makes – I think it should be four because you technically made it inside the goal. You made it inside the goal post. Yeah. <laughs> Man. Well, hey, that free kick, a little high. She's a little amped up from her goal yes, earlier. But probably still. Got to settle in a little very bit. Very impressive goal. I think that should be on. Here she oh. goes again. And she gets Blakely to it. Blakely got it oh. at her feet. Sets up. Rihanna. Oh, oh just, just misses. How many opportunities for a shot on goal have the Longhorns just, mm. man, a couple tough touches. And almost she had that girl coming to her left up at her. If she wanted to, she could have taken it up another step because that girl was not took the wrong angle. Man. Very close, very close. Well, it's going to go back to Riverfield here. Got the goal kick. I mean. Again, up that middle. That's where you need to go. Goal kick goes to the feet of Leslie Hernandez. Oh, nice move. move by Hernandez. Had Good stop. Blakely's Ooh. just so long. To be a freshman, to be 5'10". 5'10", 5'11". She's just so long. I was like 5'6". <laughs> Still are. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know how tall you are. I don't have any concept of that. I have I have reached the end goal of six foot. Hey, you're officially six foot. Congratulations. Welcome to the club. I don't even care to be an inch taller, That's centimeter taller. It's perfect. Uh, I'm telling my kids that <laughs> when I'm like 5'8 one day, I'll crinkle it up. Yeah, kind of <laughs> bent over here. That's what my grandpa tries to tell me. My grandpa, dude, you're like 5'4 now. There's no <laughs> way you're six foot. 
That's funny. I don't say dude, though. Yeah, you don't say dude to your grandpa. Yeah, my mom, would, my mom would beat me. <laughs> we got Brooklyn Parsons coming into the midfield, giving Sam Kenny a breather. Oh, Probably need a breather because her lungs Not, hurt from this cold. And that goalie just way out of goal. <laughs> Very bad defending, by the way. Really lets – Man. They went up for that header and let it just – Oh. Barnett. Barnett's just going after it. Oh, yeah. I think she should. She's – She's got twice the dribbling, twice almost. It looks like the soccer IQ. Yeah. Dakota was just a. Uh, that, that was a shot. That was a shot. I was going to say a hopeful she, shot, but she did put some power She on had her. to save it. I mean, that, the goalkeeper had to save that ball. And not looking. Oh, right. Straight to Inola. Good chance here for the Longhorns. Come on. Oh, come on. Take that. Back to the middle. Oh. Oh, oh good it. shot. Oh. Oh, just what over. A shot. That was beautiful. Really was. Had. The whole defense just sent – the goalie was paused by how – Man. That was perfect. Really just a little too much. A little too much on that chip. Yeah, the, but, man, nice – I I thought the pass by Armanderez was, was – I, I thought it wasn't good at first, honestly. I was like, ooh, she didn't put enough power behind it. And then a great shot attempt by Parsons. Look at Barnett with the yeah. ball at her feet. Holy cow. We, she's very impressive. I mean, that's what she does. You know, she played center mid uh, pretty much her whole life for her club team. Um, got hurt her knee last year in soccer. Didn't play club this past club season. I don't know if she's going to go back to it or not. I got to give her a little bit of a shout out in that she's she's one of our setters for the volleyball mm -hmm. team. Um, so, you know, Micaiah. Volleyball, I've been to a couple of those championships you've won. Hey, you know. Very impressive. You know. Uh, Listen, when you're when you're my leader, you're my guy, I got to be there to support you. Hey, I appreciate that, Caden. You know, it, it my job's really, really easy when I've been blessed to have the athletes I've had. I yes. mean, it's, it's crazy. Oh, gosh, just a little too much on that. Yeah. And almost went in the goalie. Which I know. I know. It's he crazy. Saw that. It's crazy. But if it was a little bit uh, shorter, I, Barnett had that. And she that was a that was in the net. Oh, good first touch. Really, that's the hard thing is that that midfield is so crowded by. I think, yeah. oh, oh, good pass. Come on. Oh. oh, that goalkeeper again. She's very. Oh, they called offsides. Anyway. Okay, okay. Very, I thought she was that time. That time I was yeah. like, okay, that. That's was what offsides. I thought. <laughs> Very good IQ though by the goalie, even if she wasn't to get yeah. there. Oh, oh okay. Now that's come on. not that's not offsides. That should not be offsides. And again, bad defending, just not being able to stop the ball. I think they're down 2-0, and it's there's a little bit of a crumbling factor going on for right Riverfield. Right there, you it's see that big by, by that da that hash right there in that middle. If uh, number nine would just go in front of her, Hernandez gonna have a chance to cross it in. Ooh, nice defense there by Riverfield. Sailor is just playing up. Yeah, she's yeah. Good pass. Oh, good ball. Oh. Okay. Wigginton with the long range shot. Oh, wow. Even she she put her hand over. Even she couldn't believe how close that was. I am. Holy moly. Brenna Wigginton about had the goal of the year. That was. She, she almost just took out number 23's goal earlier. Oh, my. God. That was 30 yards. That was 30 yards. That was a boot. Whoa. Uh, I'm going to have to tell her after the game. I didn't even know she could kick it that far. Yeah, you're going <laughs> to. I didn't even know. That that was an impressive shot. I can't believe she even tried to shoot again, it. Again, look at that backside. You see that Great big, you see that hole in the backside? Oh, yeah. I'm t I, if, some, if Dakota would run there or number 10, if she would just be there, oh, that's an easy goal. It's an easy goal. I mean, still has to have her teammates yes. see it. Oh, Dakota's there every time with that goalie kick. Yeah, it's like they're kicking it too. Right? Yeah. Her and Leslie, mm -hmm. both. I mean, I mean, you know, that's. I almost want Sailor to go up and just start uh, kicking in in passes because she has that good leg to kick in. There we go, Johnson. Ooh, Bad couldn't touch. slide yep. it past. Yeah, couldn't slide it past the defender. Back to Johnson. Johnson just trying to find a little dude. Every pass, every pass is not a possession pass. It's a we're trying to score right mm -hmm. now. Yep. Because again, they know they want to win this. They t they were saying. Win by four or more. Yep. And That's the, the goal here. Oh, just a little too much on it. And you can tell this defense is not, like, you can tell, like, as soon as that ball goes out, they're walking to their spots. It's not, yeah, it's not giving the Longhorns enough trouble. And, again, they've got ten shots on goal. Two of them have went in. And there should, Which, I think there should be four netted right now, to be honest. I, I agree. I think they're, they, they, they've had opportunities. I mean, Bar Barnett's in the first. Yep. The little chip shot. And then, honestly, Good pass. Pars Parsons' oh. chip shot yes. over here that went a little high. Yep. I mean, she had you it. You saw that. It was it was just a little bit above that bar. 
I think she's going to kick it right to Dakota again. <laughs> oh, Dakota, Dakota, with, Dakota the, with a whiff. Uh, Jackson said air ball on Tuesday. Um, <laughs> air ball. Hopefully she doesn't Ooh, get Ooh, nice dribbling by Ava dribble. Johnson. Good pass down the side. Longhorns might have a chance if Parsons can track it. Oh, okay. Gets by her. Good in pass. Be there. Barnett's oh, going right to have a right chance. Oh, oh, good save. That's heck of a save by the goalkeeper really right there good, for Riverfield. Really good to go to her right. It'll be another corner, though, for the Longhorns, their fourth of the game. Wow. What? Mm -hmm. I I thought Barnett had that one, but great job and by the keeper. I, but correct me if we're not, I don't think we've been past the 50 this half. No, I've been craning. My, my neck's going to be sore from looking <laughs> to my left out of this press box. Oh, I can understand. I'm trying to. I'm looking at the screen part time. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to get lower than you so you can have some room here. Hernandez with her oh. specialty. Just a little bit. I think bit. that wind. Yeah, right. the wind got her a little bit there. Let's see we are going to play. Let's I see if we can't kick Brooke Walker out of here. Yeah, you know, goodness to gracious. She's like, Brooke saying, but win, the wind, the wind. It was the wind. You play two indoor sports, Brooke. <laughs> <laughs> she said, for a reason. For a reason. I'm smart enough. So wait, are you calling? Are you calling these people not smart? Oh, we got oh, some controversy. Controversy. Homeschoolers bring out that in people. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Corner. I think they just gave him the long. I thought that was out on Barnett. <laughs> too. For sure. But even Riverfield's not arguing it. So, yeah, okay. Longhorn's so about to take. We just didn't see the touch. Me and you just missed something. Yeah, we just didn't see the we touch. We are not paid for this. Tyler might be. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. Well, I am right, not really. <laughs> yeah. Part <laughs> not, of the job. Part of the job. Part of the job. All right. Do a very good job at it. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Here we go. Leslie, redemption on the corner. Just a little bit. This time goes to Brown. Oh. <sighs> Another chip shot goes awry for the Longhorns. Again, I'd rather them just – I want them to just set up, maybe kick out again, like have someone behind, because right now that's working. <laughs> Are you, uh, thank you. Our producer, Chloe, showing me a picture of me having to lean forward to – look, I look like I'm really eagerly watching something. I just can't see. I'm definitely eagerly watching. Well, I'm eagerly oh. watching. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Nothing on that. I think that was just – I felt like that was a little bit of just a part yeah. of soccer. Yeah. Maybe got a little push on number 17 with that, or 18 with that arm, but. Yeah, it's not too bad. That was a really smart play by Lofton right there. Mm -hmm. Just knowing the ball was going out of bounds, just a little tip it back to her, and the other and the defender knocks it out of bounds instead mm -hmm. of her. And we've got Hernandez getting a break here. Sam Kenny back in the ball game for the Longhorns. Now, I almost at this point, would leave one defender back. I know that's risky. Oh, super risky. Holy cow. That's kind of what they're doing, though. Yeah. But I mean, Ava Johnson's the only one Sailor deep with right a good now. Pass. Really, like you said, this is not a possession pass. No, oh, it's everything. Everything. Oh, she winds up. She's not going to get that one, yep. but it did, well, it did have to be saved. Again, yeah. I would I would rather have a dribble. I, that, I think that the Longhorns are falling in love with the long shot. Yes, and that's like – but they can get some goals, easy goals. Like my Pee Wee basketball coach, you can't always take the three um, because, you know, we were chucking it up with our whole bodies. Well, yeah, of course, yeah, a little league. Um, oh, Parsons, ah. not a good touch right there, just whiffs I know it. she wants to take it forward, but she's got to yeah. keep that ball in play first. But really, I'd, I'd rather have Dakota take that and then move up a couple steps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think so. Too. Uh, Dakota, Especially if she puts that ball in play like it's rolling, you really get more yeah. momentum running up to it when you kick. I think so. I think, though, Dakota would even tell you, like, she doesn't feel like it's necessarily her job, job to just dribble the heck oh, out of the I, ball. Oh, I agree. She's, she's out there to make that through pass. I told her she plays like – There Christina Brown up from her spot at the defender spot. I there. told her on Tuesday she plays like Frankie Dijon. <laughs> and she um, was like, who? Um, again, Barcelona. Barcelona. He's a midfielder, really does a good job of keeping possession away from those, those, yeah. those, uh, their midfield who wants to push it forward. And now we just have a... Oh, see, I, I see now. I was wondering why Christina Brown was up. Her and Brenna Wigginton have switched spots. Again, Well, she has, she has some power. You saw those yes. kicks in. Oh, Christina can play. A and that's the thing. I, I think, again, just getting some of those kicks in from her, using her power offensively. Normally... We get past the 50 for the first time. Yeah, first big possession here. And they lose it. 
And it's not. They what? Don't it. Okay. Oh, Ava Johnson is. She is livid. Very upset. Um, Ava will tell you about it, too. Yeah. Well, like, actually, I don't know, so I'm just going to say yeah. Yeah, you don't know, Ava. You definitely know. I, I, I just don't know how that could possibly be Riverfield Ball. Yeah, I don't either. But, I think know. there's been a lot of iffy calls. It's been. Ah, that's high school soccer, bud. That's, yeah. just, that's just what it is. Most definitely. Just what it is. Here we go. We got the throw in here for gotta, Riverfield. Got to take some. Okay, that's. Uh, what? I Again, I thought that was I thought that was off Riverfield. Maybe I'm just okay. Really interesting back-to-back -back, uh, plays there, calls there. Yeah. I, again, I thought it was definitely off of. Uh, Barnett. Oh, Barnett gets it back quickly. Nice pass to Parsons. Parsons just says, "Let's go, let's go." Goalie's gonna be out there. Oh yeah, she's gonna run out to the, the 25. Get it the at the five, not the twenty-five. That, that almost was, that twenty-five was yards, though. Yeah, if it's you a think about bit it, bit of an exaggeration. And again, she goes to Dakota. I think Dakota's her favorite teammate. Oh, man, it. Yeah. Um, but I really think that that Riverfield is not even looking for the ball when she kicks it out. To be honest. Yeah. Like they're just waiting for that next well, like drive. Again, like we said, I, I felt like. They they like again. Said, there's always you know I I think the Longhorns have them a little bit outmatched yes. right here, but, but ultimately. They're down 2-0, 18 minutes or so left in the ball game. They're they're really just trying to to get to the end here. Really, a two. I'm just gonna be honest. A 2-0 loss to this Longhorns team is not a bad loss. Yeah, because they beat. I think I was at the Commerce game, and they beat them 2-0. Yeah, I felt like Commerce had a a lot of more technical players. Yeah, for sure. Dakota's Dakota dribbling today. Yep. Dakota heard me say she's Ooh, not kind of messy. Nice pass, pass by the senior. Oh. Uh. And not a great touch from really Parsons. Really sold the clip. That's okay though. They're gonna get. Oh, oh, called a little little shove with the with the forearm. I don't know. I think that's happened all game. But nah, well, you know, like you said, high school soccer. It's part of it. Inconsistency. It's part yep. of it. Players are inconsistent. Refs are inconsistent. Part of it. So it will be a free kick here for Riverfield. I get the sense, and I don't have Riverfield's Ooh, roster okay. in front of me. I get the sense Riverfield's pretty young. Yeah, and you can see their bench does looks pretty young too. Like yeah, I, I think I think. And I haven't seen one sub for Riverfield, so I think it's not a lot. They've only subbed a couple times. It seems it like it wouldn't surprise me, like you said, if it's one or two seniors, um, on this team. Yeah, and it wouldn't surprise me if it's the attackers. Maybe that goalie. That goalie seems to have a lot of experience. Called another another little uh, shove off. On Dakota Russell here. Well, we're gonna have to talk to Dakota Sunday. Is that how the Lord wants? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm definitely. She's gonna have like. She's gonna come up to me and be all mad at me. Probably so. It's okay. It's okay. Jackson it's will right. still love me. <laughs> That's what matters. <laughs> <laughs> Again, just nice. to an I know a player. So Riverfield done a better job here in these last five minutes or so. Ooh, that of, looked like a yeah, I did. You saw uh, that? <laughs> yeah, right in her face. It looked like. Yeah. But yeah, Riverfield done has done a great job here in these last five minutes or so, or so of gaining possession, mm -hmm. keeping possession, and pushing it forward. Yeah, lo the Longhorns haven't had a lot of offense here in these last five and minutes. And that's where I think they need to slow it down just a little bit, stop going for that long ball, and really just take those possession passes. I think so too. Maybe I've make one of those defenders overcommit, and then you got that open hole. We got two subs coming on. Yep. Got Leslie Hernandez and Reese Elliott back in the ball game. Definitely gonna let you say all the names. Yep, that's fine. Dakota uh, Dakota's Russell. Dakota's coming off. I know who. You know Dakota and Sam Kenny. I know Sam only because <laughs> of this game. There you go. <laughs> Just want everyone to know I do not stalk. I only know names because of Tyler Slope. That's all right. I know their names. I have taught most of these people. Can you stop waving? We're in the middle of a game. Uh, I, I mean, I gotta say again. I know it's still trying to score. I mean, yeah. it's 2-0, 15 minutes left or so. I th They are actively trying. They're in score mode. Oh, and, I and think they th have to be because that's how districts work. Mm -hmm. Again, they've got to score goals. And I and think Dakota is going to come off for five minutes, and then we're going to see her come right back on to that last ten minutes I to really push it down the field. I think you're probably right. I think you're probably right. I, I would love to see – Couple more goals netted. Four goals. I'd almost like to see Sailor just stay up now at this point and leave three deep. Good pass over the top. Oh, what uh. a pass that goalie, man! 
She is good. She is a she is a wall back there. Oh, she's no, I mean, considering uh, she's only conceded two goals. That's impressive. Yeah, and again, she has done an excellent. Like job. I said, that goalie just kicks it, and it looks like the Riverfield players are waiting for Inola's first touch. Yeah. Oh, right over the top. No offsides here. Okay. Oh, oh, take it. Come on. Oh, man, nice job by the Riverfield, Riverfield D. Ava Johnson inside on, here to Blakely Coltrane. Thought she was going to kick it. Coltrane to Hernandez. Hernandez wanted to take the shot right there, but good job by number one of Riverfield on the defensive side. Goalie made a bad decision that time to come up. Uh, that's another one. I feel like a goal could have been netted yeah. right there. But, again, I don't think we're always – Way to take it. Okay. I don't think that the Longhorns are necessarily used to seeing – a great goalie. Goalkeepers like this come out of the goal like Goes she good is. Good left, good pass. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Rihanna with a shot. Ah, saved again. Uh, that defender did come over really quick. Yeah. If she wasn't, I saw right corner wide open, as you saw. Yeah, I, I, do, I get the feeling, though, right there. Brianna didn't want to take that shot with and her I'll, left foot. I'll just be right. I'll be totally honest with you. I think I have seen a better goalkeeping today than I saw at Summit. Really? Yes, I'm gonna. This goal, the, the summit goalkeeper looked a little timid to come out. Well, she's not. I'll uh, tell you that right she's now. She's not, and she's played extremely well. Extremely well. I mean, and again, that's that's that thing. Like I said, that sixth sense with goalkeepers. Uh, it's it's an innate ability to know when to come out, when to stay back. So far, every time she, she hasn't given up a goal because she came out. Yeah. Not one time. The goal has been, you know, that defense, that, you know, Inola broke that back line and the defense is just, oh, straight to Barnett. See if she can. Hey, this number one is good. Yeah, she is I'm good. just telling you right now, I've been noticing it the entire game. She is legit. Yeah. Well, and that's who they had back two at, uh, at one point, but they pulled up ten and brought number one back, and I think that's why Inola's struggling a little bit more now because number one is in that midfield. Sailor yeah. with just a boot out of bounds. Though. Boot right out of bounds. Yeah. That sucker was spinning to the right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the win that time, Brooke. Oh, my gosh. Brooke Walker, everybody. Never going to live down that. Do you have any more donuts? Ah, oh, dang it. Thank you again for them. They were very, very nice. Very nice. Even though I, th I feel like I'm very nice from coming for a Wasso. You drove all the way from <laughs> she Wasso? Goes, yep. <laughs> You were nice coming from Owasso. That was nice of you. Brooke is a, a I feel like a long time. It feels like we only we've been friends for a long time, but it's only really been about two years. She's hating on me over here. <laughs> <laughs> She's so bad. Um, off on Inola. Now we got like a stalemate at midfield. It feels like almost. Yeah, a lot of that, man. I oh, that was so deflating for that Longhorn opportunity a few minutes ago. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was deflating. Sailor looks like she was limping on that kick a little bit. Maybe just. Got her. Oh, here's an opportunity here to go. run here for Barnett and Armanderas. Oh, Too far, but she's oh, got Parsons on the back side. And no, not a good touch could from have Parsons. Been a, could have been a cross there. They were, they were to uh, all the whole coaching staff was telling her cross it, mm. cross it, cross it. She's going for the goal right there. Good coaching staff. They're very vocal, which I like. Oh, trust me. <laughs> Listen, hey, <laughs> I coach. I coach basketball with one of them, volleyball with another one, and then the third one on the far left, that's Allie. I coached her Oh wow! in volleyball my first okay. year coaching. So very familiar. Never coached uh, Lacey, Coach Coltrane, their, their head coach. I, you know. What time is it on the clock? Uh, We've got 11.20 left. Yeah, that's what I thought. Dakota coming in close to that 10-minute mark, trying yeah. to get that last push of – I have one sub down, and it's Dakota Russell. It's Dakota, yeah. And I have Sam. I don't know your last name, but. Kenny. Kenny, thank you. Sam Kenny. Sailor there. Again, Sailor always, she's she's more of that physical defender. Oh, she's physical. I'm telling you, dude. I like she, it. Sailor will knock you down. Ava Johnson here moves Straight to the to midfield. The middle. Come on. Gets it into Dakota. Ooh. Dakota can't slide it through. Hernandez back to Dakota. I like this passing Me right too. here. That's what I'm saying. You know, make that defender make a mistake, and then you got an open hole. I go to that middle. Look at that. See that hole right I there? I know. They keep trying. That's Again, I think it's hard because that's not yeah. the and Inola offense. And they I, are about getting ooh. it to the corner and corner kicks. And as you just saw, it was a three-on-one over in that corner. I can't blame her. Coach Williamson tracking this ball, running it down. They she knows they're trying quick. to score. Oh, yeah. You can tell this Riverfield team is tired. 
No doubt. You have, you know, you got two coaches yeah. up. You got the whole Inola staff across the field. Ooh, not a good first touch there by Armanderas. But here comes okay. Barnett trying number to get to there, her right. Like you said, number one is there. She is good. Oh, <laughs> Russell, not and a great that touch. That is not even a field goal. Uh, yeah, and they call they call the foul on Barnett. Okay. I'm not sure what they called, but. Let's see if we can get this. Again, like you said, it's it's not the I know way, the way I watch too. But they they need to make just a slight change to hit that inside that dash is where they're leaving those big holes. I think so too. Uh, well, and again, I, I'm willing to bet Riverfield has watched film too on Inola. They know Inola likes to attack from the outside in, not the inside out. Mm -hmm. And that makes a difference when you're designing your defense for that week. You're coming up with your game plan and what you want to do. Number one, he's at midfield. She is back as a defender. Yeah, she's, yeah. And it makes sense why Inola's having a bit of struggle. She's playing left to right and... I'd say the only reason it's 2-0 right now is because that goalie, number one. Oh, man, those two are good. I, I would take either one of them in a heartbeat. Goal kick here. Short goal kick this time. Sailor's always there. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's just going to clear it in. <laughs> too much. <laughs> Way too much there by Lofton. It won't surprise me if they do a little bit of the goalie right now, doing a little bit of time. I don't know, though, man. They still try to. W I mean, Riverfield still wants to win the game That's ultimately, true. but they they don't care if Inola makes the playoffs. Yeah. I mean, what's it matter to them? Now, are they in district? Yeah. They're, yeah they're Any rivalry at all? No, okay. no rivalry really. I think it was the first year in this district. Okay. Actually, because if there was some rivalry, I could see some, you know, some time wasting. Oh, for sure. Yeah, a little gamesmanship if there's a rivalry. I, I don't think that's the case here. Yeah. I think really, that, like uh, you said, I think they want at least a goal. Yeah, they're trying. They're trying to score. They're. I think they're trying. They're not trying to waste time. Their coach was stopping the ball early over here. Like they. They want the ball back. They're trying. And the Longhorns, like again, every player on the field for the Longhorns knows two First goals sub for. Oh, they've subbed more than that. They just subbed two or three goals. Okay. Ago. You just missed it. It was quick. Ooh, I like it. I like the, uh, the f the backdrop, for your phone. Oh, thank you, Thunder. Let's go, baby. I'm excited for the playoffs Sunday. 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 That's oh. right. Gosh, she's just got a boot on her. <laughs> she's going for it. <laughs> I think everyone heard you. Oh, I thought I had my mic up. I mean, you did, but my mic's going to pick that up. <laughs> I know it gets in the corner. And, oh, she gets passed in the middle right there. Set up for it. Oh, oh, another missed chip. Again, this is, I think that's up to six now where they've had oh. good opportunities. Like, there's been some shots on goal that, like, hasn't been great, but gosh. Yeah, I mean, it, oh, man. Such a great opportunity there. Really was Hernandez. a great cross by number 13. Yeah, Ava Johnson. Yes. Barnett just going for this one. Oh, oh the post. the post. Yeah, but they have a corner now. Gosh, what a shot. Really missed it by, what do you think, two inches? Oh, my. That, that was about as close as you can get. Really it, great shot. It is going to be an Inola corner. And you can see Inola is very – they are – there's no walking from that, that front, you know, seven. And, again, they got two defenders. Sailor is up at the ten. They have two defenders. Um, the, the, I think the they're checking her mouth. I think she may have hit because – uh, you know, she pointed at her mouth after that. So I think she may have hit her mouth a little bit, maybe. I'm not sure. I don't know what that means. No, it's not a timeout. It's. Yeah, so I think. It, oh, it is a timeout. It's, a, it's like an injury timeout, maybe. Yeah, so I think she took one off. So they did. They went ahead and stopped the clock there. Here we go. Hernandez gets set. Up. She brought the ball out a little bit because of the win. Good pass. Gets it inside. Oh, oh off the post. And it's headed in by. Oh, oh. so close. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Back two, to back. Two shots great off shots. the post. Two great and shots. And then right there, I mean, the header, I, it's the right choice by Barnett. Who hit the first? Was it Armanderas? Yes. Holy cow. 
off. The, how many times have they hit the post or barely missed? I mean, it, it Dakota crazy. takes it. Come on, do a. Let's see. Okay. Oh, gets by and really just gets her foot stuck with that defender number one again. Like we've been saying, like you've been saying. Wow. Another goal kick. The Longhorns. <laughs> oh my gosh! How many opportunities? Really, a lot of missed opportunities. A like you lot said. of missed opportunities. Hate to say it, just a lot. No, it's just it's part of the game. It's part of the game. I think the Longhorns have proven they're a team that that that, that can be. Oh, Sailor, like you <laughs> said, she knows how to play. I told you, Sailor. Sailor's going to hit you. Yeah. Hey, that's what I like. That's what I like. Now that now she and that listen, the Riverfield player, she may have sold it, but she sold it well. She if, did. If, I mean, my goodness. Now I I gotta say this, I know it is a team to be reckoned with after today. You can see the power they have on those shots. I know. I uh, man, if they can play like this against Vertigris. Imagine next if they week. put just three of those seven shots in, it's a five zero game. That's that's and that's I mean, so I, I think back to the Parsons chip shot. The uh, Leslie Hernandez mm -hmm. chip shot we just saw that went over the goal. The crazy almost goal thir from 30, 35 yards out by Brenna Wigginton. So many opportunities to put it in the net, and it just hasn't happened for mm -hmm. the Longhorns here in this half, except early when Coltrane put in the 20-yarder. I mean, I, I just, uh, man, you can't ask for more opportunities offensively. Another sub coming in. I mean, uh, Riverfield has emptied the bench, essentially. Yeah. They've let everybody play here, and the Longhorns have to take advantage of it. And, again, I know it sounds so silly. If you're just tuning in or you're listening to us, or only in the second half here, you might not know. But the Longhorns, their playoff hopes could could come down to a goal differential. Oh, come on. You have a two-on-two two scenario right here. Oh, oh, man, nice play by the defen defender really good right defense. there. But, but yeah, the, so the Longhorns in the district – it, the tiebreaker might come down to a goal differential, and right now that's something that the Longhorns are not leading in. Mm -mm. They could have the same record as Sequoia and Miami and be left out of the playoffs, and Sequoia and Miami get third and fourth in the district because of goal differential, mm. which is uh, it, it kind of a not a great tiebreaker, but I get it. Like It makes sense that that's a tiebreaker. you got to beat people and beat people by a lot. And the Longhorns are worried. Two goals. This will put their goal different, different, differential. Golly, I can't speak. This will put their goal differential up to four on the season. Well, before this game started, Sequoia's was already at five, and Miami's was at six. Now, Miami and Commerce play tomorrow night. If Commerce upsets Miami, Longhorns are in the playoffs, huh. no matter what. Um, so obviously they're going to be for watching. An upset then. Yeah, exactly. As Longhorn TV, we are Longhorn fans. So. Yes. Uh, but I yeah, know. I think that 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 is what you know that that's that you're going to be watching that closely mm. tomorrow. Yep. I can guarantee watching the results there. And Commerce is a good team. They had a like I know when they beat them, they had some chances to score. And I know. Yep. Oh, here we, we go. Pass. Come on, get there. Yeah. Get gonna there, have get a there, chance. Get there, get there, get there. Get there. Ava's gonna have a chance. Uh, Hits it off the keeper. It should be a corner for the Longhorns. No. Oh, she didn't even hit it. She just mishandled that ball. Got about two minutes left. Let's see if they can just get one more. One more would be a great one help. more opportunity. Yes, would be a great op. I mean, that's all you want. One more opportunity. Maybe the goalie makes a mistake here on the kick, <laughs> and just out of bounds. Yeah. Look. Coach Williamson running. And you got the coaches. This shows how much heart they have. Man. Bit of a weird throw to the. <laughs> Wigginton to throw oh, it in. Look She's in looking the up the field here. Tries to get it to Russell. Russell shoving a little bit. Thought she was going to get a call against her, I think, right there. Because that one she did shove. And the she last did one she did. Hernandez tracking it down. Going up the field with it. But we're under a minute remaining here. In the match, it's going to be tough for the Longhorns to put another one in the net. They're going to keep trying, though. I can promise you that. Armendariz looking for Good it. pass. Okay. Gets it out to Elliott. Elliott mm. back to Barnett. Mm. Oh! oh! Yeah, I think they called something there. Got about 30 seconds left. They didn't call anything. They didn't call anything. Wow. 
Oh, my. That is the worst call of the game, I'd say, right there. Barnett <laughs> just gets destroyed. She gets the ball back. It's because there's less than a minute left. I'm just telling you, when, when it's a 2-0 game, less than a minute left, it's like basketball. Mm. It turns into a wrestling match, and the refs aren't going to call it. I get it from their perspective. Um, it's Hernandez with a crazy, like, over-the-top chip. Weird kick. Uh, Wigginton is all the way up looking for a goal. This is not what Wigginton does, and that's going to bring the end of the match. The Longhorns, a much-needed victory, but obviously we were cheering for goals. We were cheering for goals here at the end. That does bring the Longhorn squad to 8-5 and five on the season, 5-2 and two in the district. Uh, they are sitting in fourth place still, waiting on to see what else happens. Their goal differential has rose to four, so they did what they needed to do as far as getting the victory. Now it's going to be, are they going to need help, or are they going to go take it to Vertigris next, next mm. week and get the W and secure their spot in the 3A state playoffs? We will see. But, uh, hey, don't leave just yet if you're watching. We have spring homecoming up next, and we will be bringing it to you live right here on Longhorn TV. Oh, is it halftime of the boys' game? I didn't even know. I thought it was next. Cool. Okay. Well, the boys' game, is, it, it, I was wrong. So stay with us, not for spring homecoming yet, but our boys' game is up next. Our boys taking on Riverfield. Uh, and so, yeah, we got a boys' game coming up here in about 15 to 20 minutes after the boys get out there Big and respect warm up for a little Nola bit. Going to the refs. Oh, yeah. Love to see it. <laughs> and so we will uh, we'll have a good matchup for the boys. And at halftime of the boys' game, we have spring homecoming coming up. So uh, don't leave just yet. We've got more soccer coming up on Longhorn TV.
Welcome, Longhorn soccer fans. We have got a district matchup tonight between your fifth place, I know the Longhorns, and the fourth place, Riverfield Ravens. I'm Tyler Swope, joined yet again, as I was during the girls' game, by Caden Pache. Hello, everyone. Hey, we got a big one here, Caden. This is. You want to tell me the playoff implications? I will like tell you the time. playoff implications. I will. The Longhorns need to win this one and the next one to get in. Okay. Okay. But the fact that there, it's even a possibility for the, this Longhorn it's team, it's crazy. They've been a team for two years. And so this is a huge game. Riverfield sitting right above the Longhorns in the standings. This would tie it up between these two teams. The Longhorns need this one. Let's get to the starting lineups here for your Longhorns. In goal, we've got sophomore Angel Mata. He made some impressive saves oh, on Tuesday. You talk about an athlete, buddy. Yeah, Angel is Mata an is an athlete. So just a sophomore in goal. You're going to get to see him make some big plays tonight, I have a feeling. He's not scared to come out like that goalie we just watched. Oh, No doubt about it. And then on the defensive side, right back Dylan Mace, the junior. Left back, Mason Parsons, and your two center backs, Jaden Ballou and Trent Upton. All juniors on the back line. A lot of experience right there. They all played last year, so hopefully they can hold these Riverfield Ravens down a little bit. Then you go to the midfield, okay? You got your outside mids, Joshua Harris and Peyton Miller. Joshua Harris, a sophomore. Peyton Miller, a freshman. So we got some young. That's some right. Young oh, just there. wait. We ain't done. Get ready. <laughs> Get ready. We ain't done. Then we've got Eddie Yang, the leading goal scorer for this team. Five goal, four goals and five assists. Very impressive with oh. where he's playing. Yes, exactly. Playing him in the midfield. He's a center mid, but they play a diamond, so he actually plays back on yeah, defense a like lot. Almost a defensive mid. Yeah, Eddie Yang, just a sophomore. Now, at the top of the diamond, also in center mid, you have Alejandro Pando, also just a sophomore wow. for this team. And then at forward, you've got sophomore Keaton, Keaton Claudefelter and freshman Caleb Butts. This is, this is an exciting team to watch. A and that's the whole Reminds thing. me of our homegrown team, the Oklahoma City Thunder. That's right. This that's is a right. team full of talent that's young that shouldn't be where they're at, but they're, they're going to – I think they're going to force their way into the playoffs. I'm telling you, I I hope we get to see it. This is a huge game, probably the biggest match of the season for this young Longhorn team. Young, as I already said, young not only in age, but young by the fact that the Longhorn boys soccer program started last season. Uh, it, I mean, this is brand new mm -hmm. for Inola. They were actually going to wait two seasons before they could play against other varsity teams. Uh, but they redistricted this year, and Coach Elliott wanted them playing varsity teams okay. now. And they're doing good. They, Like you said, the playoff yeah. implications, they have it. They yeah. have a way to the playoffs. You're exactly right. You know, And they lost all five of their non-district matchups. So they're sitting at 3-8, and eight, but they're 3-3 three and three in district. Their three wins are district wins. It's a huge deal for this team. Oh, just boots it. Oh, uh, Yang's going to get it going quick here for the like Longhorns. That, like that. Force it down the field. Ooh, good steal. And listen, I'm going to have – it's going to take me a minute on the names. I, I know the girls because I've watched them for years. But, again, we're year two for these boys. So I don't have the names and numbers memorized. I'm going to be doing a lot more Looks like number 18 down. wants to force his way down the field very yeah. quickly. I also haven't had a lot of these guys in class because there's so many freshmen and sophomores, mm -hmm. and I teach juniors now. Gotcha. So I've got all these junior guys. I, I've had them all in class. I, I know them. But the younger guys – so outside of the defenders – just look how far up these defenders play yeah. for the Longhorns. Well, look how far up the Ravens are. At, at one point, they had all guys in front of the 40. Wow. Nice job right there by Pando. Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh, Thought a little okay. bit of a push. Yeah, just going to let that one go a little bit. Number 18 is quick on that. He is quick, but Parsons did a great job staying did. with him. Really did. I can see you, you see Eddie Yang, the sophomore number eight. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. You see Eddie Yang, sophomore number eight, dropped way back yes, on defense, but then you'll see him push way up on offense. I like that. Yeah, I mean that's it's that diamond they play in the midfield. You're gonna see him, and I mean and he ain't coming off. And the he's field, a good leader too. You. you know, against Summit, they were starting to fight a little bit. You know, blame the goalkeeper a little bit. He's like, guys, we can't do this. We can't. You know, we can't get down on each ourselves. Um, so really good leadership there from him. Um, 
somebody just died from taking a header. <laughs> oh wow! I didn't even see. I didn't even see it. <laughs> he jumps up for the header, and I think the ball literally took him to the ground. So, okay, I missed it. I was uh, writing. That'll happen. From time Again, to time. number eighteen has the ball. He doesn't look like he wants to pass. He just did, but he looks like he wants to take the shot. Yeah, he wants to go after it every time. Hey, if he's good enough, that might be the right strategy. Trent Upton with the clear. Caleb Butts doing a good job hassling here from the forward position. Yang goes. Nice job clearing that ball. It's going to lead to a throw in for Riverfield. Dude, there is so much power behind Eddie Yang's leg. Yeah. Buddy, he was like, he, buddy. They kick it back to the 30, and he boots it to the 20. I was like, wow, that is. Hey, well, and I'm telling you, I, I have seen him kick field goals, I bud, was say, and he can – Oh, my God. They told me he was the kicker. Oh, yeah, he can boot it. The goalkeeper is Angel Mata. Very athletic. Yeah. He's Thank you, producer Chloe, asking questions. It's Angel Mata. Yeah, crazy athlete. Are we going to see a corner here from Riverfield? First corner so. of the game. Weird strategy, put taking almost four out. Maybe they're just going to do a little kick, then go into it. Yeah, they may they may not even do a real corner here. Or maybe Some teams in high school don't. If they don't have looks somebody like they're who gonna can run really in, though. You see number seven Let's right there? see. Yeah, there it's a run in. Good clear. Yeah, Mata gets a hand in there. Clear a little bit more. Good, just let it go out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that was – if I wasn't ready for that, I thought they were going to be like the girls, just kind of stay in there and see if they can't oh, get ahead of it. running. Yeah. Are running a little bit. Goal kick from Yang. A lot of pressure from Ooh, the forwards. Good move. That's a great job. That's that's Pando for you right there. When the ball's at his feet, anything can happen. And, you know, I was talking to Coach Elliott a little bit today. The shocking thing to me about Pando is he's sitting on the season with one goal and one assist. Mm. A and he might be – I mean, if not the best, one of the best on any field he steps on. Nice job by Josh Harris right there. But he, he's one of the best on any field he steps on, Pando. But it doesn't necessarily show in like a box score, mm -hmm. right, where he's going to have a ton of goals, a ton of assists. That's just not what his game is. Yeah. He, he's more of a ball control guy. And I do know he's got these young forwards, Claude Felter and Butts, and they're learning – and Coach Elliott said he's put some dimes on them, mm -hmm. and they're not finishing them yet. Yes. But if they get to where they're finishing them, he th Coach Elliott said he thinks Pando would be leading them uh, in assists. Yeah. And they're going to get there, whether it's this year or next. There's n there, this team that you see right here is going to be the same team next year well, yep. coming back. And so There's no seniors. You know, I went to senior night, and yeah. the girls had six or five seniors, and the boys yep. had none. None. Which is good because that gives them – Three years of time together. No I doubt. I yeah, think next year you're going to see good. this team fighting for the top of the district, not just a playoff spot. Yeah, I agree. I think that's – and I think that's what Coach Elliott sees in them too. And that's that's just a crazy thing. He's built that program really quick too. Like really said, quick. Didn't want to play against varsity teams, and this year he's like, you know, put us yeah. in there, and they were competing. Exactly. And not only that, we don't have a junior high program for boys soccer oh, wow. here. So he's not getting 7th and 8th graders that have played very much soccer, if any soccer at all. He's getting some, you know, they played some backyard soccer. Maybe. Right, yeah. But now Peyton Miller's played quite a bit of soccer growing up. And then Pando oh, wow. from distance. Just a little too much. Good shot, though, just to start it off, show him that he can do that. Well, Coach Elliott told me this, too. <laughs> I love that I got to talk to him today. But he told Pando, Buddy, you're going for it. Mm. He said, if you're 20 yards out and they're not coming to get you, you shoot the ball. Oh, do it. They're going to call a foul right there against Riverfield. Peyton Miller taking the shot right there. Peyton, older, younger brother of Gavin Miller, uh, state qualifier the last two years for wrestling. Definitely heard of these people. Heard of them, yeah. Yeah, but uh, Peyton's played a little soccer growing up. Josh Harris has played almost his whole life growing up. Um, just middle school, we didn't have it, so they had to go play competitive. Uh, but oh, good cross. What Ooh. a cross. Oh, an opportunity. Oh, oh, oh very close. Oh, man, what a very kick close, from Eddie yeah. Yang right yes. there. Way to put it in there. Put put enough to where that goalie, oh. Oh, man, this guy's pretty quick. Is this 18 again? This is 18. My goodness, he's got some wheels, no doubt. I just want to start saying, oh, kind of messy. Look at him. 
Nice save. Oh, okay, Mata okay. can't handle it, but then he gets on it. Yeah, number 18, like I said, I don't think he wants to pass. I think he just wants to go, and he wants to take it down the field. And if Inola can stop that, then you have a way to keep this game zero. Yeah, zero, he, zero. He's – um. <laughs> Holy moly. Did you see that? His dribbling is insane. Wow. And he pushed it to the, his right, and he let like he was going to let loose. Yeah, that was – okay. Like, I didn't All see right. It. We're playing some soccer now. He is not looking to pass, and he, and he doesn't have to, to be honest. He has the ability to go down that field. That was crazy. Here he is again that with ball, ball control. Feet. Do you see that, that first touch he has? Yeah, he's he's solid, man. Very solid. I mean, I that's that that explains to me then looking at them, because again, it you never know with any sport really. But you look like these guys look less athletic mm -hmm. than the Longhorns. But, but if you got one player like that that can control the tempo, control the game, not e even if he's not scoring goals, if he it, yeah. he's controlling the middle of the field. And as long as they can stop the ball too, like it, you don't have to allow any goals. But if you get one, you know, you want to owe a bunch of teams, you become that four seed. Yeah, that's just it. Yeah. The, uh, and honestly. A lot I mean, of zero zeros, too. I mean, uh, a game like this, well, there's no ties in high uh, school soccer. Oh, did you know that? Yeah. I did not. Yeah, no ties. You go to overtime, you play, one, I think it's one overtime period. Okay. Maybe two overtime periods. Um, and it's it's first goal wins, I okay. think. Um so kind but of then like, you oh, go, you go, you do go down to PKs. Here comes Mata okay. to get this one. So kind of like a golden goal scenario where you yeah. get that goal and it's over. Yeah, it's a golden goal, and then I think you, I think you play two, That's and it FIFA, might be like the FIFA. Reference. Yeah, it might be like ten or fifteen minutes. So like, yeah, like the regular extra time in soccer. Exactly, and if you have ten or fifteen minutes, not a great touch right there by Butts, but. It's yeah, it's ten or fifteen minutes. I think it's two, and then you go to PKs after Good that. Pass by eighteen. So 18 is really – he is the person that Inola needs to stop. Like you said, he is controlling this game. His passes, his dribbling, his shots have been absolutely amazing for the Ravens. Oh, yeah, he's good, man. He's good. I mean, this first 10 minutes or nine minutes, he's really showed out here. Mm -hmm, most definitely. And, gosh, he can boot that. <laughs> gosh, I mean, that 50 yards and it looked effort. He looked I, like he barely kicked it. Yeah, man, Eddie can kick it. <laughs> It's crazy. I want to go play soccer with him. Oh, man, no doubt. Jaden Ballou coming up, maybe coming up a little too far from his center back defensive spot. Another shot on goal, not a strong one, though. Kind of like where the Inola girls, we're, we're just going to kick it. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, and Riverfield's looking at this. I mean, if this ends up where they, they don't win, like, they're not guaranteed a playoff spot mm -hmm. either. I know it's right behind him at 3-3 three and three in the district. I know it's not guaranteed to go down the field either. No, and they're not going to go down without a fight tonight. I mean, Riverfield knew coming into tonight they're going to have to play well. Yeah, I look, Nola looks like they're playing with a chip on their shoulder. I've seen a couple I know players kind of run into the Ravens, knock them down, and they don't care. They're getting right back up ready for the next play. Oh, 18 with a nice move to his right. Gosh. Corner kicks it in. Nice job defensively by Jaden Ballou. Or no, that's not even Jaden. Who am I calling out here? That's Peyton Miller all the way down there. Oh, good steal. There's Jaden. Now Jaden's getting into it a little bit. That's Jaden Ballou. I knew I was shouting him out for a reason. <laughs> that was a very good steal after that corner by number 18, or from the corner, not a corner kick. Here comes Harris trying to get the ball. Just too physical. Yeah, too physical. And that that's another thing that Coach Ellie and I have talked about. <clears throat> We're not as big as most teams. No, you can it's see. It's just I don't, a reality. I don't even see a lot, like a lot of tall. No, a lot no. Of height, a lot of height. We don't have a lot of height. We don't. We're not. We don't have a lot of weight to throw around, and that matters in soccer, it man. It does. It matters. Like we talked about in in the girls' game, it's a contact sport. Yeah, and, and you could tell I know it. Like, oh my gosh, was, what a move! What a move! Gosh, just over the head and gets it right next to his body, not too far, so he can control it. Man, Har Harris is just getting pushed around out here by the defender. Nice clear there by Yang. Just try to get it on the other side. Riverfield has dominated this first 12 mm -hmm. minutes with time of possession. And again, I think you just put two on number 18 if he's going to try to dribble because he is just – he is absolutely amazing. Yeah, I think that's what they're going to do here. I mean, as long, now out there he's not as much of a threat, but if he gets in there, what a Oof. through pass here. Mata's coming Scoot out of goal, scooping scoop. it up. He's definitely going to play up because those through passes are tough. What a throw by Mata. Yeah. <laughs> they put, put him at QB. No kidding. Here goes Pando. 
Pando, though not as big, probably equally as pressive with the ball mm -hmm. at his feet yeah. as 18 is for Most Riverfield. Most definitely. 18, ooh. Gosh, see, I, I'm a lot of, there we go. We got the call. Okay, got the call there. Harris put his hand up like, but what that, are that we doing? That is the third one by him. Uh, number, yeah. I don't know what number he is. but It's hard to tell their numbers from here. Third time really just shoving a kid down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shoved Harris down specifically. Him yeah. and Harris are on the same side. And I mean, Josh is just like, what do you want me to do? Yeah, I like, can't do anything about just getting yeah. shoved down there. So got the call that time. Longhorns finally with possession in scoring area here. Let's see if they go for that. That's what I thought they were going to do. Good clear. Oh. Ooh, just a high kick here. Good kick. See if you can't get it over. Ah, goalie's there. So far, I mean, it's still early. We're only 13 minutes in. But Man, what a boot by that goalie. I'm telling you. Whoa. 60, 60 yards. Wow. Pretty impressive, I got to admit. That was impressive. Blue tries to clear that one. Longhorns, I mean, that's that's a good strategy for them. Every time you see their defender, they just clear it. Clear it, clear it, clear it. Let their athletes try to go run under it and make a play. Because, mm -hmm. again, the Longhorns, I don't know. Again, if they win these next two, they're in. Oh. There could be a goal differential situation for them. Okay. Nice job funneling that to Mata uh, Yeah, right that there. was a very good pass. Yeah, I mean, if 11 gets loose – but then Baloo and Mace just close yep. the gap, outrun him, close yep. the gap around him, funnel him right to the goalkeeper. It. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Again, there. this is – Hey, it is what it is. I know it's a physical sport, but <laughs> those two those two bigger guys, they're really getting hey, physical. Might play a little football too. Yeah. Uh, th this guy can play. Yeah, he can. That Ooh. Look at that, into four guys. Yeah. It looks like he almost has that problem of Jayden. needing to pass and not knowing when to. Yeah. Because he knows he's good enough. Like, oh, you can nice tell. Nice job by Miller. Let's see if he can take it. Hey, good job by Butts and Claude felt to throw it forward. They're trying to put pressure on the defenders they when they are. get the ball at their feet. And they're playing four back, um, as you can see right there. Pretty much at all times. The Ravens they are don't not pushing up forward like, you know. Hardly we, at all. We which the girls do. Makes it hard to score against. Most right, definitely. That's tough. If they're, but, again, they can score goals like they do. And they're, they can play offense like they do because that number 18 oh, unlocked so that pass? So that was much. amazing. Oh, nutmeg. Oh, my. Good pass. Oh, oh great my through God. pass. Longhorns might have a chance. Oh, the goalkeeper Good. boots it away. Oh, yeah, right there. Still Good have pass. a chance. Good pass. Oh, almost on the volley. That was that wow. was going. I'm counting that as a shot on goal, buddy. I am that too. was. What a. You should have seen. You missed uh, number eight. I forgot yeah. his name. He does a pass. He's, he's looking this way. Behind kicks his it behind back. him. I saw then that. To Pando, Pando straight. You know, megs him. Wow. Gosh, that guy. I was going to do some looking here. At uh, Pando Tunnel. just took down that defender after getting shoved, 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 and they're yeah. going to call it on Pando. But yeah. I, I thought that was a bad call. So you're looking at, I mean, Summit is number the, one. Yeah, they're number one. This Riverfield team lost to them 06. They only beat Commerce 1 0, which is exactly what I know will beat Commerce. Or lost to Commerce 1 0. Lost to Miami 2-5. to five. Inola, our boys, beat Miami. Okay. Right? So, again, it's just kind of a big mess here in the middle of things. Just played Cleveland. It took them overtime to beat them 4-3. Okay. They beat Vertigris 4-2. So, I mean, they're, they're, they're scoring some goals. There's no doubt about it. I mean, you look at Inola's goal differential sitting in fifth place is negative 2. Riverfield's goal differential is only plus 1. Wow. So, I mean, it's t I, this is an evenly yeah. matched game right here. This is... You know, this is what you want to see when it's coming down to a uh, who's going to make the playoffs kind of district battle. Yang moves the ball to Mace here. Mace, another one who's played some soccer in his in his day before we had boys soccer here in the high school. Again, uh, number eighteen just is like looking for what he can do. He's he's solid, man. You can tell. Oh, oh going for the boot. My goodness. See, that's something you see in boys' soccer in high school you don't see as much. We saw it a little bit for our girls today, but you don't see it as much in girls. It's just those 20, 25 yards, like, I'm going to bomb it yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah, Brenna Wigginton tried it earlier. It was crazy. <laughs> Craziest thing I've ever seen. I got to talk to her about that. That's funny. My goodness. Yeah. Throw in right here, trying to go for number 18. He's going to have a chance to cross it. Oh, it goes out of bounds. Was it called offsides? Maybe out of bounds. I think they called it out of bounds. Yeah. Leslie Hernandez, proud member of Longhorn Media. 
Shout, didn't shout her out enough Leslie. earlier. Hey, Leslie. Hi. Great job. Thank you. Looks like we got maybe. Sideline side warning, maybe? Yeah. I was thinking maybe a sub to you had that guy up, but I think you're right, sideline warning. Yeah, I think. Okay, that. That's right. Yeah, we got captain of the boys team, Trent Upton. He's in Longhorn Media. Gosh, he can boot it. Oh, I think that went off his hair. Oh, that <laughs> oh off his hair. I, th I saw it. Chet, did you see that win? <laughs> you should be like the guy who gives us stats. Um, how many goals have number 18 scored for the Ravens? We will get back to you on that yeah, one. Yeah, <laughs> Chet, does, Chet doesn't know. <laughs> Chet doesn't know. Long throw right here. Just back out of bounds. Yeah. I mean, it advances the ball pretty well for Riverfield here. It does. Riverfield that was a good, like, 15-yard chunk. And Longhorns just haven't been able to have much possession. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just – but but I think that's – I think that's just what they do mm -hmm. against everybody. You know what I mean? You saw them play some. Uh, you saw the first half of them against Summit. Yeah. Um, obviously, Summit is incredibly good. Yeah. I mean, so good. But you're looking here. At it, this, this is just the Longhorns game. It's a lot of defense, a lot of defense, and then boom, quick counterattack. Yep. Have an opportunity. That's how a lot of teams win is that counterattack. That's what Coach Elliott's all about. He is looking for the counterattack for his guys. That's what he wants. A quick counterattack, quick goals. He is happy to win 1-0 and and play a bunch of defense. And number, I think that sub Ooh, came good on passing. number five. Back to the feet of 18. 28 is going to take a shot here. Terrible. Right out of bounds. <laughs> Don't say terrible. Not a bad shot. Just too much spin on it. Yeah, way too much spin on it. Got it on that. I think he got it on the outside of his foot. All right. Who'd you call, like, super short that one time? It was Connor. Yeah, yeah. It's Connor Pratt. Yeah, sorry, Connor. I thought he was I – I confused him with a seventh grader, ah. <laughs> which is tough. It's a tough look for him. I understand. I still say, though, if they stand side by side, it's easy to make that mistake across a crowded okay. gym. I'm, I'm just going to – I stand by that. Josh Harris. Good move. Yeah, doing really a great a job. Really, pushing on him. He oh, can't yeah. do a lot about He's that. He's doing a great job maintaining possession. He is not letting breaking his cool either because butts. that's happening. Butts to Pando. Pando, nice pass oh. to Butts, just a, a little, little bit out of his reach. Number twenty is just going to take out of bounds. Give it to Arnola though. Yeah. It was off of Arnola at first. Yeah, he probably could have just let that go. Yeah, that's kind of guarded, but Arnola will take the possession here. They haven't had a lot of it. Give it into Pando right there. What? <laughs> this is not boring, Dakota. Or, er, Brooke, my bad. <laughs> All right. I'm waiting for someone to come over, maybe. Throws it right in the middle of the pack, looking for Yang, trying to, like, go behind the defense right there. Did not work. Riverfield clears. Out of bounds here. Blue chases it down. Longhorn ball. I just, ah, yeah. Riverfield is very committed defensively. They yeah. bring almost everybody down to the yeah. box. I mean, they are pretty much saying, you're they're not. We're, we're going to win this game. Or we're. <clears throat> we're, we're not going to lose because we let a bunch yeah, of goals oh go in. Here goes gosh. 18. Ball at his feet. Got some moves. Ooh. Ooh. That was a goal. <laughs> gosh, he's impressive. Ooh, he is good, man. I'm telling that to be moving to your right at full speed and cut it back left with your right foot. I mean, that that's that's a tough shot. But it's a lot like basketball. You know, some people are uh, – there's a lot of tough shot takers. Yeah. There's no, but there's not that many tough shot makers. That's true. And that's that's what I would say about basketball. Same thing applies to soccer. So far, we haven't seen him make one. No. He's taken a couple tough ones. He's that dribbler, but maybe he's not that, you know, he can't always finish that goal. Yeah. Which and I'm not. Oh, gosh. 
Uh, I'm telling you, when I say Pando is just as impressive as that guy with the ball. He at his definitely feet. is. That Dude, was it's crazy. Pando's dribbling ability is is second to none out here. I don't think. Yeah. Gosh, he is just. But he's, but he again, he's getting himself in trouble. That's what I'm saying. He wants to be messy, but he's not messy. Yeah. No one. <laughs> No one's messy. You, nobody plays like Should've that. Should have brought my messy jersey today. Retro Barcelona. You should have. How's that? Oh I don't. Yeah, I know. I was thinking the same thing. How I'm just confused as to how that is Riverfield ball, but okay. Again, above my pay grade. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't need to make the calls here tonight. I'm just going to do my job. They're going to do theirs. Throw in here for the Ravens. Good D. It's going to go into the middle. Trying to do a header, Nice defense by Ballou. Yeah, clear. Cleared by Yang. Again, Longhorns have a chance at a counterattack. Flipped back with the header right mm. there. God, too much. Yeah, would hope for more of a just direct pass instead of up in the yeah, air. Yeah, no, Harris didn't. I don't think he liked that. But Not a good touch for Harris. Mm. Oh, and the coach is so mad. They gave that ball to Inola. Well, they've had a big oh. oh, big hit. They're going to call that one on Harris. No yellow card. Good call. Wow. That Harris isn't happy because he's saying he flopped. I yeah. mean, that's – and, again, hard to tell from as far – we're all the way yeah. across the field. We're on the exact opposite side of the field as the play there. But I can see where he kind of threw yep. his head a little bit. But I'm also a fan of Shea Gilgis Alexander. Yes, you are. Oklahoma City Thunder guard. And uh, so he's kind of – you know, he, he throws his head back on drives a lot. I get it. If you can sell it, why not sell it? <clears throat> Ooh, not the greatest clear, but the goalie's there just to scoop no. it up. <clears throat> Mata. Just a little goal kick here. Just in the air. Again, I know let the athletes go try to make a play. Peyton Miller gets it to Keaton Clodfelter. Oh. And it's going to yeah. be Riverfield ball. Smart job by 16 there of Riverfield to just let it go. Number 18, just like we've been saying, trying to do too much sometimes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a good pass if anybody yep. was running. I mean, this four is running, but. Yeah, Longhorns just, just let it go, and are they giving it to – No one there. Yeah, it's Longhorn ball. So far, not a lot of scoring opportunities for either team. Inola yeah. with one shot on goal, Riverfield with two. Yeah, really not any. And that one, yeah, the, for Inola was Pando from a <laughs> long way out. From a mile away. Here goes Yang. Let's go ahead and clear it with a goal <laughs> kick. Oh, man, I don't know about this. Oh, he gets it to Harris somehow. I didn't think I know it was going to retain yeah, possession on that I at all. I thought it was going to go out of bounds. Ooh. Oh, no. An ill-advised pass is. there from Upton. Oh, okay. Baloo's going to have an opportunity to away, clear it. Please. Oh, oh, he tried to. There. Nice job by 11 here, the forward for Riverfield. Okay. Really playing well. Ooh. Oh, oh Baloo taking a risk right there. Okay. And somehow it's going to end up paying off. Yeah. I cannot believe that. That is. Uh, that was scaring me. One thing you're going to see with Baloo, he's not afraid. I mean, you've seen him. Yeah. He's, he'll dribble it up to oh, the 40. Yeah, I yeah. mean, he, he doesn't care. He will take a risk and leave his position. Sometimes at a time he probably shouldn't. Yeah, yeah. I kind of stay back a little bit more. Peyton Miller, the freshman here, was battling there on the bottom of your screen. Ooh, butts mishandles that one. Gets it out to Harris. Harris tries to get the through pass. Nothing doing. Man, just can't find a way. Mm. Again, I don't understand that, but I thought maybe number four touched it. But Yeah, well, I, again, we're so far away yeah, from those are. calls, it's almost impossible to yeah. know. We could play rock, paper, scissors and try to guess. But yeah. So, so far, I, I don't think either team has subbed. <laughs> no, I do not think any. We're 14 minutes left here in the first half, and nobody's subbed. <laughs> I'm surprised, too. Uh, yes. But I don't know any of the subs on uh, Inola. Definitely don't know any of the subs for the Ravens. Well, for sure. I, uh, yeah. 
I barely know Inola's players. No yeah, players. Riverfield may have subbed earlier. You mentioned five. Yeah, you I thought, five thought maybe came five on. came on, but he may have been in Pando. there. Pando. Pando with a chance Pando. on the counterattack. This is what we've been waiting on. Good. Oh. Just clears it way ahead. Oh, man. Claude Felter not quite fast five enough. Yards. It feels like it's five yards in between them and a goal every time. Man. Just a little too much on that. Good yeah. pass, though. Well, and I'll tell you, if you're looking for two – Two speedy guys, Claude Felter and Butts, are definitely that, which is why you see the Longhorns clearing the ball the way they are. They're so fast. Um, it's just going to, you know, just takes time. It seems like some of these kids aren't even confident in their passing because Ooh, nice they pass. have number 18. I watched number five. He had a lane, but he's going to pass it to number 18. Yeah. Now, 11, 11 does seem like that's their duo up front, 18 and 11. I would agree with that. But they're more just his own. Yeah. Got to clear that away. You don't want an 18 to get the yeah, ball. No, yeah, not in that. That's, you know, that's Even even with a defender. Yeah, that, well, that's still scoring position. I mean, it was like three on three. You don't yeah. want the even. I mean, you know as well as I do, you don't want de your defenders to be even with how many nope. offensive players there are on the counterattack right there. You, you want the advantage. Most definitely. Even with the advantage, you know, great players will score. No doubt about it. Again, the pass, These guys are fast. They're going to they catch up to fast. these defenders. If they can get even with those defenders, it's going to be a hard, you know, it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one with that goalie. That's I'd what Inola's got to find, though. I know. I'd love to see that one-on-one. -on -one. Only one shot on goal still for the Longhorns. Only two on, for the two, Ravens? Two for the Ravens, okay. man. It's just been uh, a lot of midfield. A lot of midfield action here. Most of, most announcers will say whoever wins the win f or whoever wins the midfield will win the game. Yeah. That's probably true. So far, that's been Riverfield, so yeah. we'll see. But Inola, when they get that counterattack, it's hard to stop. I think it's been Inola who stopped themselves more than R the Ravens mm. have. Wow. <sighs> yeah, he's pretty good. If he would have <laughs> got there, if he would have got there doing that spin, <laughs> he's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, wonder if he's related to Messi at all. Why he's not? got the hair and then the the yeah. hair tie, you know, the, yeah, the he, hair band. He's got like nineteen year old Messi look. Yeah. He can move, man. He can really play. And like you said, I think 11 can really play, too. There's several yeah. guys in this Riverfield team. Oh, just a flat-out miss by Baloo right there. Whiffed on it. Yeah, definitely not just 18 and 11, but it seems like the guys who are just most confident with the ball are 18 and 11. And can you blame them? No. No, definitely not. They can play. Yeah. There's 11 right here. Pando just playing. Oh, Pando. Absolute Pando. wow. Pando. Get that ball back. Oh, my goodness. Gosh, he puts on an absolute show. Get over. He did a little step over before that ball went out of bounds. I thought he was going to get by him. That defender's <laughs> so hard because he's going to shove you off your line. He's going to yeah. get you to have to. And if you're close to that out of bounds, you're going out. That's sad. I'd love to see us attack this side of the field. We haven't attacked the right side of the field yeah, at all. Everything's not. been on the far side from us. Everything's yep. left. Man, that um, yeah, you're right. That guy's gonna shove every player we have off the line. And this no guy is doubt. not, as you can see, he's not as big, he's not as physical. Doesn't mean he won't. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't say he's not going to, but he's definitely not as big as yeah. the defender on that right Gosh, side. Their yeah. right back is is big. Pando's just <laughs> dominating that side of the midfield when it gets to him. They're not getting past him. Smart give boy. it to Yang right here. Yeah, this is what you want. You want the ball at Yang and Pando's feet. Pando. Big boot right here. Okay, good first touch. Ah, oh, Claude Felter kind of loses it, okay, gets, gets it back. Ah, oh, oh, and then loses it again. And that's kind of that inexperience we're talking mm -hmm. about, right? Claude Felter, Butts, young Claude Felter, sophomore. Butts is a freshman. Almost like they get antsy, like they're ready to score, so they're they are almost a step ahead. Yeah, and you got Claude Felter all the way back here playing defense. Good, way to clear. Got a chance at the counter attack here, but Claude Felter not a great oh, first touch. Let's go. Forward. Butts go, with a go. chance. Butts with a chance. Oh. oh. Great save. Way to take off. He took it off the chest beautifully and then just outran everybody. What a save like you by said, the keeper. Just, the he more needs, experience they get, they're going to. That's a goal. Yeah. That's a goal because he's going left corner. Yep. That, that's just that's, what that is. That's where I thought he was going. Um. And you know he was close. That he had he had some room in that right corner, but the left was wide open, like Man. you said. So 
I know he. I know he's being safe again. Again, I'm, it's easy for me hey, to say some, up here, right? Put some pressure on that goalie. You know. Oh, no doubt about it. Because you know, I don't know how great he is yet. I, I haven't seen enough of him. I've seen enough, and with two shots on goal. And here we go, Eddie Yang with the corner. Guarantee you, that's going to bend in there a little bit. Okay, he takes off the shoulder and then. Oh, not. Oh, clear not a it. good clear. And really, just not a good. Defensive play at all. Yeah, it's not that's a bad touch. That ball's gone. Yep, that ball's gone forever. Time to get the backup ball here. That man is running. He is sprinting. Oh, for no, that they ball. don't even have a backup ball. Oh, over my here. gosh, that man is running. We got to give a shout out to Yeah, him. good job to the guy in the neon yep. jersey here. Really well, proud. yeah, it's him, though. Everybody can see it on their screens. <laughs> really proud of him. <laughs> Doing a great job. Longhorn ball still in scoring position here. Only eight minutes remaining in the first half. They're not scared right now. I. No, they know they can score. That yeah. last counterattack was nuts. That was beautiful. Yeah, and just out of bounds again. Really, I tried to get it back to – yep, that's what I was thinking. Get it to Yank, see if he can't get a pass in there. We've snuck that one in further than I thought it was going to go see, in. Do they have a corner now? I don't know what the call is. He's blocked over here. It I didn't see the call. Be, I should think it's be a, corner. a corner. Another and I like this one. Corner. I like this one more right here. I, I would imagine a right-footed kick. This is what that's he prefers. That's what I'm saying. And this you get is probably what Yang prefers. And I feel like you get to go in a lot more on your right shoulder, so you can put some power on that with the header. Let's see if they can put it on Pando here. You know they're going to be looking. Or is that Pando Good. kicking it? Oh, that, was that was Pando yeah. kicking the corner. Yang Yang was back here. See, here's is Yang battling for the ball here. Felt like that was a really good kick by uh, Pando. It and was. Number 11 just trying to get there. Good clear. Was, yeah. And it looks like neither coach is ready to sub. No, like Coach Elliott's frustrated. I just know him well. Tell, yeah. I know him well enough. He, yeah, he I have. I've talked to him once. He came up to me, Jackson, Chet, and Grayson, asked if anyone else wanted to play soccer. <laughs> I rose my. I, I put my hand up as fast as I could. <laughs> but sorry, I'm homeschooled. <laughs> he was mad right there at the official because he felt like it, the ball went out at the 45 and they threw it in from the 35. Mm, and that gives a 10 yard is a big difference in soccer. Yeah, he's just like, what the heck? Like, let's let's make them play by the rules here. Yeah, <laughs> I know him. That's probably what he said. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Number 18, really, just it looks like he's almost trying to sneak behind now. Oof. Good way to let Man. it go. Yeah, that was that was. Uh, it looked really good at first, and it kept bending to the left. Yeah. Gosh, still a little irritated about that goal. So close to being a 1-0 game right before half. That's what the Longhorns needed. But, hey, still. But good, like, momentum. Yeah, and just under six minutes left to still make something happen. And it's like the Ravens were shocked at that. And it's like now they're not playing as aggressive is what it feels like. Let's hope that's the case. Ooh, Pando, Pando just mishandles that one. You don't say that very often. Mm -mm. Look at him run. Maybe I he mean, was trying to let it go, but. Good pass right yeah, there. Yeah, really good pass. Gosh, I hate. Ugh. Oh, no. Longhorns could be in trouble. Good clear. Jaden Blue. Good clear. Coming in from the backside. Number five was ball. not expecting him to be there, and he was. That's a great play by yeah. the junior. Really, that saved a goal right there. Because you had a one-on-one -on -one with that keeper with the whole right side open. We get a sub. Yeah, we've got a sub here. Um, let's see what number. I'm just going to say. Seven. Seven's, seven's coming in. Seven. Yeah, you, mm -hmm. it looks like number four is limping. Um, yeah, like you said, I think that's seven. Can't really see. Both kind of doing the neck thing. <laughs> mm -hmm, yeah. I'm having to. Yeah. Oh, good clear. Let's see if Caleb can get there. Yes, he gets yep. there. Yep. Here we go. Let's go. Caleb Butts with the counterattack here for the Longhorns. Oh, number putting one. His feet fast. on. Yeah, he is fast. But he Butts, nice job dribbling on, right here. Oh. Hey, it's going to be a Longhorn ball. Hey, that's good. Get it down the field. You never know what's going to happen. Especially with soccer. A lot of own mistakes is what causes a goal. Yep. Longhorn's trying to get it in quick. I would, too. You got Pando right there. Yep. Sitting still. Oh, my Pando gosh. Pando handles it, oh. gives it to Yang, and Yang We know what he was going for. Oh, he wanted it. He That's was, a tough shot. It was a tough shot. Coach Elliott wants the call right there, the shove, but he doesn't get it. And again, that right back, he is he is physical. Oh, dude, he's Don't know how monster. technical, because I haven't seen a lot of technical plays on that side. He's a monster. But he, he definitely is going to shove you off your line. Yeah, that was a good – that what – to know 
That has to be a play they've worked on, though. Like, he knew Yang was there. Yeah. Pando knew on Pando that didn't, pass. He literally took it and, and right to him, tried to give him that bounce so he can get it at, like, almost knee level. Ooh, he, he sneaks some pass. Oh, we got a little bit of a shot. Oh, Ooh. that goalie was going. He was uh, drifting to his left there. Yeah, I know. I th he almost caught him. I don't know that it was going to go in goal. Yes, but it, it was close. It might have slipped by, but he at least had to go save it. Again, it's like they're just – this oh, midfield Mace. is I'm just going to sit it to 11 and, and 18. Good Great defense. job by Mace. Good defense. I've seen a lot of very good uh, – like against Summit, they had a good defensive line for the first 20 minutes. It was 0-0. Zero, zero. That's what Coach Elliott said. He said he's like we were playing with them. They were playing impressive. As he said a whole half – and he said they were getting frustrated because they couldn't put Oh, you should have heard these us. kids. They were like – what? Are, you know, they're yelling at each other because they weren't used to this defensive line, and this yeah. defensive line has again stepped up. They've looked very impressive. Here goes 18. He's going to have a shot on goal here. Way to, yep, just amazing. Way to keep his a, – a thing that's very small but important is keeping your hands to your side so you don't give them that free penalty, that free hand, yep. hand shot. And that's sometimes what – you know, attackers will look for is to get that hand that's sticking out to the side. And great job by number 20, just keeping his hands to his side and taking it off the back. So that was great. Baloo playing a really good game yeah, so really, far. Yeah, really, that that clear earlier. Really, oh, man, he, he's playing an excellent game so far. Need him to continue to play the, an excellent game because, again, this is the way the Longhorns play. They're fine with playing defense for a long period of time. As you can see, we've got one offensive player back. Everybody's back here on defense. Good clear again. Ooh. Oh, Harris expecting the contact that doesn't come. Inside. Ooh. Oh, good clear, good clear. Nice. That's just reflexes by Yang right yeah. there. I don't even know. Yeah. He was just that ball game. Longhorn ball. Longhorn ball. Here we go. Get it quick. Get it quick. See if we can't get it in. Yeah. Less than two minutes remaining here in the first. 0-0 zero, zero ball game. You know Yang's going to clear pass. it to Mata. Oh, come Mata, on, right sorry. there, right down to the right side. Good Pando. pass. Pando, Pando oh, with a great go. lead. Claude Felter with the ball to oh. his feet. A lot of contact right there, but got the ball first. Still going to be Longhorn ball, but just a throw in. Felt like that was a bit of a push on that. <sighs> got the ball first, man. Yeah. That's just what it's going to be. I, I had, they're not. They're going to be careful about calling something in the box here. I Yang. Think those summit rests were just a little touchy. So, you know, well, they yeah, I know they got some PKs. They called yeah. a couple yellow cards that I thought weren't the smartest, but yeah. I'm not a ref. Never went to ref school. Yang on the corner. Oh, gosh. they're just now. Nah, that's it. Corners are so tough Especially because this team has height over I know. Yeah, and I thought it was gonna be a throw in. I didn't think it I went out too. the back. No, that's the thing. If you look again, we talked about it. I know it's not the biggest team. They're small across the board. They don't have a lot of height. Corners are tough for them. Yes. Corners are tough to score on that's for them. Yeah, it's very hard, like you said. 18, just going to clear it. Oh, yeah. He's he's also a very good defender he's, back there. He's a good player, man. He's a good All around soccer just solid. player. Yeah. And like you said, this Ravens team puts everybody. Everybody back. I mean, they, they have 10 guys defending right now. Yeah. That's That's the game plan. Uh, they just keep everybody back on defense, whereas like on the Longhorns, when there was corners, we kept – Claude Felter at the 50-yard line. We kept Butts at the 30. We don't bring everybody into the box on that. And I think that. that's going to be the half. They just yeah. going to let that run out. Hey. So good half, I thought. Oh, man, I, I don't think you can ask for a better half for the Longhorns. Their counterattack was working. Just haven't found the net just yet. Three shots on goal, three corners for the Longhorns. Really only, only two shots on goal for Riverfield yeah, with after, three corners after for them as well. Yeah, after first 10 minutes, Inola turned it around. Um, yeah, and like you said, that defensive line—they are those juniors. They know how to play. No they doubt are, about they're it. They're a wall back there. No doubt about it. So, well, we're gonna head to halftime, and at the halftime here, I got my—I <laughs> got my story straight now. At halftime, we have spring homecoming. So we're gonna see spring homecoming. There are no senior boys participating, but we will crown a spring homecoming queen, <laughs> and we're gonna bring that live without commentary yep. uh, <laughs> on Longhorn First Media. First time some homeschoolers have seen it from me and Chet. That's Never right. seen this before. This is a new experience. This, this, this is what homecoming is, guys. You're going to see it, you homeschoolers. Uh, but stick around with us right here on Longhorn TV. Watch Spring Homecoming, and then stick around for the second half of Boys Soccer Action. Thanks for joining us. All right.
Hey guys, um, it's Chloe, and Swope is talking to people, so I'm going to commentate for you guys real quick before he gets up here. We got two minutes left until the game starts, so... Oh, and they're off. Sub slope. I do not know that much about soccer, and I really wish Slope would hurry up and eat his popcorn real quick. Are you doing this with me? Yeah. That's scary. How is that scary? Well, I'm back. Not that anybody wants to hear me, <laughs> but I am back, Longhorn soccer fans. Whew, congratulations, Brianna. Yes. Armanderas, the spring homecoming queen. I think everybody was wanting her to do it. No offense to Valentina. Everybody loves Val, but I think somebody just wants. Harris with a chance right here. Oh, just outside of his reach. Dang. Just wants somebody that's been doing it for a long time to actually yeah, win it. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. But everybody loves Val. I'm just going to say. Mm -hmm. Oh. Let's. That was just a miss shot. It's all right. Yeah. Sorry, a little miss hit right there by Parsons. Mm -hmm. Turns around, clears it. Not a big deal. Mm -mm. You know, I was talking to the refs at halftime. Yeah. <laughs> and during spring homecoming, yeah, I know one of them. Um, we were talking about. Well, are you gonna are you gonna explain the overtime rules over the loudspeaker? And I said. Yeah. Boys, we better not go to overtime. <laughs> I'm tired, <laughs> and so we're gonna see. <laughs> one of them, one of the refs is. Uh, Clark, <laughs> he's, he's an Inola guy, and he's like, hey, I'm no, I'm not playing Homer. If they're going to win, they're going to have to beat them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, well, that's good. You don't want to. Oh, what a goal oh from Riverfield just outside of Mata's reach. They are excited. They are celebrating. They are so happy that they finally got a goal after all this time. Yeah, that was a big-time goal right there. They needed that. So they go up 1-0 yep. on the Longhorns. Let's hope the Longhorns can get this back and score a goal. I'm kind of hopeful. They've been playing pretty good. It's been a very interesting game the first half. Yep. Yang clears it up. Nice. It still, it should, should, it's, it still should be. <laughs> it, it, should still, it should still be. Longhorn ball here. The, the, again, they just need to make a move, tie it back up quickly. Which it, oh man, nice play here by the Riverfield Ravens. Twenty nine, getting it to eighteen. Their best player. The, who they always pass to. Well, I would too. Oh really? I yeah. don't blame them. Oh, he, he seems to pass it off to somebody. You know, he's Number crafty. One. He's crafty with the ball, no doubt about it. Yeah, they're playing with the a ball A miss now. hit by Riverfield right here. Dang. Regains the Longhorns possession. A quick throw in here by Ballou. Oh. You can see the Longhorns, that's their entire strategy is mm -hmm. we're going to defend, 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 counterattack. Yeah. And that's the whole oh. game for the Longhorns is these, this quick counterattack. Which can be really hard to defend oh, against. Great job by Paul. Oh wow! Yeah, he got. I mean, they, he hit his knee yeah. bad. I don't understand how that's a foul on Parsons. Parsons went to kick the ball. Yeah, and then he got in front of the foot, and that he flung in the air and then landed. I think that's the only thing that the rest saw. They didn't really see him kick the ball. They just saw the shot. What's going on? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what all's going on. We've got uh, 29 ends up getting up and walks off on his own power. All right. So Riverfield's player is up. He seems to be all right. Still kind of holding. I think it's his ankle is what he's kind of That's holding. But it's going to be Riverfield ball after the foul near the 50-yard line. Coach Elliott is is – had his hand up like, why, how is this Riverfield ball? He's confused by it himself. Yeah. Good clear there by Parsons using the head. <clears throat> Could 
you throw in here for Riverfield. Again, the Longhorns, <laughs> the hard part about playing the way the Longhorns do is mm -hmm. it's just all based on the counterattack. Most of their time is spent on defense, which yeah. is fine if you can get that quick counterattack. You see them right here going yeah. for the quick oh. counterattack. But again, it what makes it difficult is when you fall down 1-0, you're, you're down. And so now they've got to try to counterattack, and they're really depending right on that. It's going to be out on Harris. Raven ball. That was a good one. Yeah, Miller does a good job. Okay, it just seems like they just want to hit the ball with their heads. This whole <laughs> yeah, <game. laughs> Som sometimes <laughs> it's fun to just hit the ball with your head. Yeah. Yeah. Parsons, Parsons looking to throw it up ahead. Here goes 18 again with the ball. Yeah, he's got Eddie Yang <laughs> on him right now, though. He can't just mm. dribble around Yang. Yeah. Now Yang, Yang and Pando out front. Here there we go. There we go. Yang with a chance to Would cross it people? in if he really wanted to. Decides to stop. Gets it back out to Pando at midfield. I think that was a little bit of a smart move because he had two people going in front of him where he can't go past them. Yep. So he decided to go around. Yep. Pando takes an extremely long shot from 30 yards out. At least it's another shot on goal for the Longhorns. But yeah. they've got to find a way to get a shot on goal a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. So far, they haven't had any success doing that. Nice pass from Pando to mm -hmm. Miller. Miller can't quite handle that. I can't see who this is. Is it is it Yang uh, here? No, that's not Yang. I can't tell who it is. That's what I'm... That's not Yang because Yang's in the middle okay. by that ref. I couldn't tell who it was. <laughs> it's probably Claude Felter, honestly. I think so. But it's very hard to see up here. Well, it's dark. We're in black that's jerseys. This is Yeah, yeah it's tough. It's tough. Yang's going to have a chance to boot this one if he wants to. Can't control it, though. Mm. Yang makes a pass. Ill-advised. Doesn't go where he wanted it to. Somehow this came through to Harris. Oh. Harris with the shot on goal. Oh, saved by the lot. keeper. Man, another opportunity for the Longhorns. Counterattack's working right now. Okay, number 18 looked like. Our team is kind of fumbling here a oh, little I think bit after 18. I think they're calling a foul yeah. on Peyton Miller right there. He was just working extra hard <laughs> to keep the ball. I mean, he was doing everything he yeah. could, throwing himself at 18. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Number 20. You got it. Okay. 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 Oh, that's Caleb Bucks. Number 18 coming for the goal. Buck. Ooh. Got pushed out of the way by. I can't tell who that was. And it got missed. They did not make that goal. I am very sorry, guys. I'm not this good at <laughs> commentating without smoke. But I'm trying my best. You're doing great. You're doing great. <laughs> Get it hyped up by smoke over here. Sorry, I was. I had to go fix the screen. If you're watching, you could see it just got brighter. You're welcome. Uh, <laughs> You I'm out of up. breath, though, because I came down that ladder. <laughs> I'm out of shape. Dude. I saw a, a, another shot on goal for Riverfield was saved by the yeah. Longhorns. So. Um, Angel kind of face planted there, too. He just. Did he? Yeah, he just laid there for a few seconds and then got right back up. 18 with a nice move to the outside. He's going to yeah. try to bend this one back in, I would imagine. Passes to his teammate. A really nice cross. Mm -hmm. Doesn't go. Yeah, well, when 18 was going for that. Other goal, oh, he got Pando pushed. Oh, trips again. Goodness gracious. Got pushed out of the way, and that made him not kick the ball. The Longhorns, I'm just going to say, I, I think something the Longhorns need right here is they need Pando to step up a little bit. Oh, yeah. what a great through they pass. Longhorns are in trouble. It. And he makes another goal. Uh, 
not what you want. Nope, this does not look good for the boys. Yeah, in a, in a must-win game to s keep their playoff hopes alive, the Longhorns have now conceded two goals in less than nine and a half minutes. Yeah. Uh, not what you want. And that one, there's nothing you can do. No. We mishandle the ball at, mis in, at midfield with Pando. Just that mishandle leads to the turnover, leads to the counterattack, and they get it at the feet of their best player. Yeah. I mean, there's not much that we could have really done right there. That puts Angel Mata, the goalkeeper. <laughs> that puts the goalkeeper in an almost impossible position. He's The best player is coming at him one-on-one. -on -one. All right, the Longhorns definitely have to get their counterattack working here as Eddie Yang whiffs on that ball. I mean, they've got 30 minutes to score two goals and tie this thing back up, and you know they're going to give everything that they've got. They don't have give up in them. And so I think we're going to keep seeing a lot of good soccer out of the Longhorns. Oh. The risk is, my goodness. They're just I mean, they're a all lot of over Mata. They're all over Mata. They finally yeah. gets the call. Finally, Mata once. wanted it way earlier than that, but Mata gets mm -hmm. the call. We've got a free kick here coming at the foot of yeah. Eddie Yang, and he's telling everybody, get down there. I'm kicking, <laughs> I'm like, kicking this sucker. Just be where I want you to yeah. be. Yeah, he, he's going to, they're definitely going to try to be aggressive with this one. Here he goes. He's just going for the goal oh. right here. Oh, oh my he God. Has oh, my goodness. It just hit the railing of it, just bounced yeah. up. Yang with a heck of a shot that he doesn't so quite close. go from, I mean, 42 yards out. Yeah, he was so close to getting that goal, but it, it just got away. Kind of like the girls' games. Kind of like how Brenna. Yeah, Brenna went for that. It wasn't on a free <laughs> kick with Brenna, <laughs> no, though. No, it was not. It was just in going the for play. it. Oh, let's see if we can get the ball back. Just too smart. By Mace there, just yep. clear it to the side. Live to fight okay. another day on this one. It's going to be Riverfield yeah. ball. Just under 29 minutes remaining here in this match. Uh, you can see a difference with the goalies from the girls, especially with the, uh, the different team, the opposite team. When the girls' goalie was more, you can see what's going to go happen next. And then with this guy, you can't really yeah. tell. Oh, what a pass. Oh, oh, they call offsides. They call offsides on Caleb Butts. He was like, what oh, the Oh, he couldn't believe that no. he got that call. Unbelievable. He was so close to getting And that. he might have been offsides. But <laughs> 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 Oh, something is going on at the Ag Barn. Oh, yeah, something's so going on. <laughs> Having a good time out there. Apparently. There nice job by Mata. <laughs> Man, he was trying to make a pass <laughs> right there. He was trying to make a pass right there. Goalkeeper, intelligent just right lay. there. Just lay on it. That's smart call. Mm -hmm. Makes him get a goal kick right here. Everybody has to set back up, and more time comes off the clock. That's yeah. exactly what a good keeper should do. And the nice, easy goal kick to start the offense here for Riverfield <laughs> is smart. Oh. Counterattack for the Longhorns. Oh. Ooh, tried to flip it over the top to Claude Felter oh right there. Fuck. Butts is battling. He's trying to get that win back. Oh, man. What what fight Yang out has of the ball now. Caleb Butts, the freshman. He, oh, a push Yang on wanted Yang. the push off. He's not going to get it. We have a collision at the 20. Yang what? gets up limping. The uh, Riverfield player is still down. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, okay, the Riverfield player now up after a time stop for injury. Uh, 
know, see, they got him up, and then he started limping some more. So he's mm. he's not putting any so weight on that knee. All three subs are coming in with the opposite yeah. team. He uh, he's not putting any weight on that knee. That that's yeah. a, a scary deal right there because yeah. Yang really did just slam mm -hmm. right into his knee, and he could yeah. and not Yang not like I it was intentional. Know. Yeah, I don't know if it was if he tripped or if he got pushed. But Look at Butts right here, just <laughs> making moves. I mean, the, the fight out of this kid. <laughs> Unbelievable. Peyton mm -hmm. Miller fighting. Oh, It just seems like a fighting fest out there. Hey, that's what <laughs> it is. A lot of pushing, a lot of shoving, but that's yeah. part of oh, it. Oh, dang, tripped. Oh, another Petty. one. Great job by Jaden Ballou. Jaden Ballou trying to get it out ahead for his offense. Oh, oh got to be a foul. Collision. Okay, call the foul right there. Going to be a Longhorn free kick from the yeah. 25. Going to oh. have Eddie Yang kick it. I can only imagine. Yep. You know. Coach Elliott telling everybody to get down, and mm -hmm. uh, you already know Eddie Yang's mm -hmm. going for the goal right here. Yep. He's going to try to bend it in from right to left. I always thought there was going to be one head collision during this game, and there was. <laughs> here we go, Yang. From 25 yards out, he actually goes oh. low with it. Wow. It's going to lead to a Longhorn corner. But we still had no subs on our team. No sub ins at all. No, no subs. Not yet. Not no. yet. But the other team has had a couple of sub ins because yeah. of their injuries. Here we go. Eddie Yang. Not a. I mean, I don't know if it was mm. intentional. Oh! Almost great block right there by the Riverfield defense. Here comes Trent, the captain. That's out of bounds before Trent touches it. Dang. It's going to be a Longhorn throw in. Longhorns have got to make a move right here. Oh, oh Harris mishandles it. But is that going to be? Our oh no, it was out on it was yeah. out on Harris. They just blocked him. Mm. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell from. Yeah, definitely <laughs> hard. Our angles are not great in <laughs> no. this press box to to do this, mm -mm. Uh, but we're we're trying our best. I mean, you, you can see mm -hmm. up to oh, uh, this is part of the gamesmanship. <laughs> Riverfield is taking every second that they can off the clock. Yeah. I mean that that's just what they're doing. Yang, great with the ball at his feet. He's got three guys on him though. He's really dribbling through traffic right there. Yeah. Doesn't matter how good you are, you get three or four guys surrounding you, it's hard to dribble around. But way out of position, but just absolutely giving it tremendous oh, effort. Oh, let's see how I we're going to get this back. And there goes Trent, yep, kicking, Trent it out. kicking it out. What he should do he knew he couldn't get that turnaround because he had two guys on the both sides of him. So he made the decision to kick it out. No, that's a smart thing to do. You never. Mm -hmm. I said it earlier. You never. If there's two defenders back and there's two offensive players coming, the yeah. offensive players have the advantage. You mm -hmm. never want to be even. Mm -hmm. Just kick it out. Live to fight another day. Let them throw it in. Yeah. But you're going to get to have your guys come on down the field, yeah. and then you've got the advantage. It kind of looks like eight teams playing basketball over there, blocking him. That's what they do. Here he goes. He's throwing it up to him. Oh, oh one had a chance at it. Dylan Mace with the ball at his feet. It's a big clear oh. trying to get it up to butts. Longhorn throw in. I mean, I know he's doing everything they can to try to move the ball in a positive direction and get it back, but... So far, just not nothing able to fall. I mean, mm -hmm. it's you got to think. Both teams have five shots on goal. Mm -hmm. The difference is just the two that, oh. that Riverfield's got to slide through. Riverfield ball. You know, I don't really understand soccer. Yeah. I'm more, I'm used to football, ba baseball, basketball, and all this. Yeah. But the short amount of time that I've been producing for this, I learned a lot yeah, about soccer. Yeah, for sure. Soccer's a fun sport. There's a lot more yeah. to it than people realize. Yeah. 
there's a lot of strategy involved and make decision making on the part of your players. I mean, it's it's uh, I, I really enjoy I really enjoy a good soccer match. Like I said, it'd be probably my third favorite sport to watch. Honestly, yeah. I really enjoy watching it. But it is hard to commentate something that you don't really know a lot about. Well, you're doing great. That's great. You I'm jumped in. You I'm jumped in when my boy Caden had had to leave. <laughs> you know, I had I had in the uh, I had to call in the backups for Caden <laughs> to come help me out. You know, and he he hooked me up, and he's better yeah. than me at this. He knows soccer more than I do. Yeah. Oh no, this is just pure. Let's speed. see if Trent can do it. Great job by the defense right yes. there. Just making sure he mishandled it. Mm -hmm. And that's what they're doing pretty good at. They're making sure they don't really get that upper hand on them, but sometimes it doesn't go their way. <laughs> Without a doubt. <laughs> Without a doubt, sometimes it does not go their way. No. That was a really good yeah, kick right really there. Really great. Nice job by Butts using his body, not getting the handball yeah. called. Oh. Mata up we go. to Claude Felter. Let's see. Harris. I think maybe took a little shot to the head right there, but Harris yeah. battling. Got that's got to uh, be a penalty. Coach Elliott is literally sitting <laughs> down. He is so frustrated. He does not know what to do anymore. That is wow. Shockingly not a penalty call. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, because when it was during the girls' game, they were calling them, like, left and right over here. And now when we get to the boys' game, they're not really calling that much. Wow, I can't believe that wasn't a call. Oh, I keep saying. <laughs> <laughs> I, I keep calling Pando Mata. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> Alejandro. Sorry, buddy. I, I know your name. I don't know. I get <laughs> caught up. I keep calling it. I keep calling Pando Mata. Mata's over here in goal. So, you know, we'll, we'll figure it out eventually. Oh, almost a head collision again with Trent and number four. Yeah, they got the call that time. Yeah. But again, down here is not really where the call is that big of a mm -mm. deal as Pando goes for the free <laughs> kick here. Gets it up quick, oh. trying to go for Yang. Yeah, you you want that call to be called down, down here there. near the box. Yeah. It's not it's not a PK, but it's gonna be close from there and mm -hmm. just you know, now we're gonna see some again, some gamesmanship. Using mm -hmm. that using that clock as much as possible. Trent. Come on. Nice that, that job was by a good Trent. Job, I mean, Trent. Yeah, it's just a little too far for our offense to do anything with yeah. it. And that just allows the goalkeeper to hold the ball as we are under twenty minutes to play here yeah. in Inola with the Longhorns trailing two zero. Mm-hmm. Man, Pando is everywhere. Now yeah, he's on the right side of the field. Then oh. he'll be on the left side of the field. He <laughs> is everywhere. Seems and like he's running everything, apparently. Yeah, he he kind of is. <laughs> <laughs> and I got to say, regardless of how this game ends, the fight out of Inola has been tremendous. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they have not. Especially Caleb. Shout oh out to my Caleb. gosh! Yeah, shout out to Caleb Butts. I mean, my, but everybody, they, they have yes. not stopped playing mm -hmm. hard, even though they're down 2-0 in a really tough position. It's yeah. tough to score. Oh, there goes 18. Yeah, when you're down 2-0, it, it is tough to make a play. Outmaneuver him. I, oh, good, good job, job by Trent. Trent. Longhorn Media. <laughs> and look at the effort by Parsons. Great effort by the junior yes. there. Good job, Trent. Trent. Knocks it right out again. <laughs> I love it. It's like a back and forth game right now. Oh, there we go. Oh, By nice Harris. job. Nope. That's Claude. Parson. Is that Claude Felter? I'm mistaken. That was Parson, not uh, Harris. No, that was Harris. Oh, that was, Harris. that was Harris. They look the same. They do look very similar. <laughs> You're right. Well, listen, I called Pando Mata <laughs> for like a whole half. I'm so sorry. I feel bad, Pando. My bad, dude. Oh, Caleb. Oh, Caleb? nice turnaround by Claude Felter nice right there. Felter. I mean, now they're just on the counterattack. Bumbley right there. Both got him blocked. Um, 
Jaden Blue and Parsons both got that guy blocked, got the ball back. Yang, that's way too far. He's not going to be able to get a shot on goal from that far away. It's just tough. They're, they're, they're pressing, 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 yeah. trying, oh. trying to do something, just anything. Yeah. Coach Elliott throws a new ball in as that one goes over the fence again. I think oh. that's like the third or fourth new ball we've had to grab. It's just been crazy. I wonder if someone's going to go fetch that ball. Don't know. Yeah, somebody, somebody will. Somebody will. Pro probably. Probably a little but kid. Yeah, probably. So less than 17 minutes now left. Longhorns with a tall task in front of them down to Oda Riverfield here. The fourth place in the district, Riverfield Ravens. And I believe mathematically if the Longhorns There's lose. There's a seven on the other yeah. team, too. If, if the Longhorns lose this match, their playoff hopes are gone. We do not want that. So. Yeah, they're going to have to make a move fast if they yeah. want to keep oh. their playoff hopes alive. I feel like one of these refs, the middle ref will get run over. He I hasn't yet. I know, but. He's used to officiating. <laughs> they, they, a lot of these guys do college soccer, too. And so. Uh. No, no offense to our and guys, but most <laughs> most of the time in high school soccer is slow and mm -hmm. small compared to college soccer. Yeah. Nice pass by yes. Yang. I mean, that's that's really what you want. Make the defense play that, all right? Throws it into Pando, Pando back to Yang, and they're just kind of moving it around together. Oh, oh, nice job by Pando right there. Oh, Trent, little hard on that oh. one. Oh. oh! Got kicked in the face. Yeah, he did. What was that? He did. That? Yeah, that that called it. They called the yeah, I mean the kick by Pando. He didn't. I don't think he did it on purpose. He was going for the ball, yeah, but, but yeah, that the defender on Riverfield it's kinda caught like, it in the face. It's kind of like if you're standing underneath the basket and the ball just comes down. Yeah, it's part of it. Yeah, yeah just what happened, except the kick would be a little worse. Yeah. Look. But Pando, Pando did get him in the face. There's, yeah. no, doubt, <laughs> there's no doubt about it. And yeah. then and then made a crazy kick that would have been a shot on goal if play mm -hmm. would have continued. Oh. But, you know. Oh. Slowing things down a little bit. Okay, here's a free kick for the Longhorns after that foul. Pando. Pando is kicking this one now. Not Yang. Yeah, not Yang this time. I Which they have, they have Yang's different down calls. There yeah, too. they have different calls for this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling he's just going for the goal. He's going for it. Yep, oh. he's going for it to and the left. Off. It's just the 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 chance of success from that far away yeah. is so minuscule. I just I like that they're going mm -hmm. for it. I do. Yeah. I just don't know what the chances that they're actually going to hit that shot mm -hmm. is. Yang I'd love to see them, like, with no defenders. Like, what are, do they hit that shot? Yeah. That would be, like, going to see the practice. And yeah, I just want to wanna know. Yeah. You know? See if they can actually do it. Exactly. Oh, a little fumble on the play. A little back and forth action as we're going on here and see if Trent kicks it out again, which is a smart move. Nice and good. I'll say it to the two people out there watching us. We appreciate <laughs> you guys. <laughs> yes, thank you. We appreciate you. you sticking with us this long as our Longhorn men try to uh, – Overcome a 2-0 deficit with, back with cool. a ball less and then got kicked out. Yeah, less than 14 minutes left. I'm surprised this many people in the stands are still here. <sighs> hey, well, hey, if they got a, if they got a kid playing, they're going to stay. Yeah. You don't leave. You don't leave when your kid's playing. Corner kick here for Riverfield. Oh. Oh, that man. Was a Almost scores a goal. That was kind of crazy. That was a little crazy kick right there, though. Oh, oh. and that is another goal. How? For the Ravens. Oh, wow. that, that I don't know how that got through, number one, oh but uh, 
Wow, what a goal, number eighteen! Yeah, yet it look, again. Looked like they um, it looked like they had it, and then all of a sudden, like that, it was in the goal, and I was like, "What?" I don't, I, I don't know how he got that through. I I, Coach Elliott certainly doesn't know. Coach Elliott looks like he's having a rough time right yeah, now. Yeah, he's frustrated for sure. <laughs> I think he wanted oh. a better showing out of his guys tonight, and what's going on? Oh, I'm going to pause this real quick. I am also commentating and producing while this, I'm double teaming this. So it seems like um, Ms. Coach Elliott is adding two minutes to this on the scoreboard. I do not know why, but... We got the ball down to the end, but the catcher catched the ball. And it goes out again. I am also commentating by myself. Swope had to deal with something real quick. But, oh, something's going on. We got a corner shot, it looks like. So, let's see if we can. <laughs> a lot of people are cheering them on right now. Let's hope that we can actually get a goal for once. Not to be <laughs> rude or anything, but. Hi. Okay. The Ravens have the ball. But the guy doesn't know what's going on right now. And it looks like it's Inola's ball now. They're throwing it in, and Yang got the kick, but the catch, the goalie catch the ball. And it looks like it's almost 12 minutes down into this game. So let's see if we can at least get one goal out of this. Oh, and Jaden Blue got the ball back, but fumbled it in 18. Oh, Caleb Butt slid and got the other opponent out of the ball. It's a back and forth game right now. <laughs> Number nine with this. Yang going for the goal. And he made it! Let's go! We finally got a goal for once in the thing. I'll tell you what, I was eating the Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it was. Hey, I was doing pretty good too. You did great, Chloe. Thanks. I, I might not need to commentate if we're going to play like that. Uh, <laughs> I know. I was like, I was talking, I was like, fumbling the ball, and then all of a sudden, I don't remember which one. Number nine passed it to Yang, and yeah, Yang Pando. finally got it. Pando into with the a great assist right there. Good assist. Nope, not even going to try to <laughs> <All right. laughs> Well, that gives the Longhorns new life. So they I have know. 11 they minutes got to a little score hope. two. A little hope. 11 minutes to score two goals. There. Oh. Let's hope Coach Elliott has a little left in him. <laughs> <laughs> that gave him a little hope. Stuff like that I'm very confused about. I don't <laughs> what? I don't know what's going on here. I don't I don't know anything. Pando. Yang, Yang with the ball. No. Oh it was too slow for that. Yeah, not a great first touch right there. Mm -mm. Jaden Blue with that hit. Back to Yang. Let's go, Pando. 
handoff was not fast enough to get that. The Longhorns need to just put everybody up right now. And they kind of are. They kind of are a little bit. No, but they still got four defenders back. And oh, I get yeah. it. That's they don't not going to go. Mm -mm. But that's the thing. I Okay. If uh, the still we're still leaving our right and left backs yeah. back, I'd think we bring Mason Upton mm. up the field to try to get in on some of that counterattack action. Mm -hmm. Mason and Trent go a little bit up than what they're supposed to. Oh, yeah. a roll on the field right now. Oh, you don't know what that was. I know it's Longhorn throw in though, so we're gonna take it. Nine and a half remaining here in the match. A match again. The Longhorns. Mm, well it's not fast enough. You know, they but need to win in order to Let's get into the playoffs. Yep, we get the ball. We throw it in. Yang takes. Is that Yang? No, there's Yang. There's Yang. Eddie's got a oh. chance. Defender overruns him. Oh, I don't know what happened. Oh. There's Eddie a Yang. good sport right there. Yeah, Eddie Yang was trying to sell the penalty in the box right there to mm -hmm. earn the penalty kick, but, no, but nothing doing right there. They didn't award him mm -hmm. with that, and it's going to be Riverfield ball with mm -hmm. a throw in from the goalkeeper. Yeah, he nice job by like Harris. He Come on. Harris there. is able to turn it back around. Blocked out. Caleb Butts running for his life over here. Quicker you can get that ball in, the better. Mm -hmm. Don't want to waste Now we're time. bringing the defense up here. Parsons, Upton, Mace on the far side, leaving one man back, Jaden Ballou, defensively. Is this what you wanted, like, the yes. whole time? Well, right now you have to. <laughs> Here's Mace getting it inside oh. the box. No one's there. Oh. It'll be doing another Longhorn throw in. And we got almost eight minutes left in the game. Wow. Just found out, just got word, number 18, I'm going to shout him out, Anthony Harper for Riverfield, just a junior. Just, just a, a junior? junior? So Longhorns will get a wow. piece of him again next year. He is an impressive player. He's been impressive all night long. Shout out to Coach Quam for the information. <laughs> Thank you, Coach, Coach Quam. But I can't believe that. You know, when you look at some of the players, they always look older than what they are. And then you yeah. find out that they are a lot younger. And they, you're, like, so shocked at it. Yeah. Uh, uh, this, with him on the field, mm -hmm. Riverfield is, is playing like that. Tremendous. Mm -hmm. yeah. Again, another sub. Takes time off the clock. This is part of soccer. That mm -hmm. clock keeps running. Yeah. Longhorn throw in here, uh, or is it a that makes you wonder if a Riverfield throw in? They, if he played since his freshman year, I would imagine so. Yeah, he's good enough. Mm -hmm. He probably played. He probably played club. He probably yeah. played. Played a, a lot of I mean, that. He's he's yeah. he's probably grown up playing this sport. This yeah. is just what it is. And his thing. our juniors only played this for a year now. <laughs> this is year two for year some of two? them. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Because this is still new to us. Yeah, that was second year to have a program, first year to play mm -hmm. varsity. We played JV all last year, and so oh. it, it's a huge deal to have this. Yeah. Oh. Harris mishandles it off the head there, and Riverfield, nice play. Breaking some ankles over there. Oh, fumbled that. He did like a little leap in the air right there. And then I guess it's still Riverfield ball. Yeah, mm, so I don't know. Again, I can, it's on the other opposite side of the field. Oh, when it's dark like this, it's hard to see. Yeah. Baloo oh. trying to make a run. They're just going to continue to clear the ball. <laughs> Elliot for it. Yep. Go, he's, Elliot. He's saying, get it in now. Go. I mean, this is fighting for your life Go. territory right here. We're not doing that great with it. We're not handling this ball really great this time. Uh, that's just that's just kind of yeah. part of it. Mm -hmm. Part of it. Oh, Five and a half Trent. minutes left to go. Yeah. Longhorn's got to get the ball on their side of the field here and actually maintain a little bit of possession. Yeah. Go with that kick, but none of our guys were fast enough to grab that. 
Oh, oh and then we're gonna move. go. Ooh. What happened right there? Harris for this. Let's see if he can deal with this guy on the him. And he passes it to number Pan nine. Pando. <laughs> I'm not saying their names because I do not want to mess that up. You're right. I already did it plenty. <laughs> Shot on goal there for Pando. Keeper yeah. handles it easily. Yep. Again, all of Inola's shots just about have come from 20 and 30 yards out. Yeah. It's not going to be a recipe for success. Mm -mm. Go Trent with that. Good control with that one. But Harris fumbled the ball and let the other team grab it. Was not fast enough to get that. And now it's out. It is Inola's ball. So, at least that's good. <laughs> at least we <laughs> have that. Yeah, at least we have that. And one goal. You're right. The one goal was nice. Yes. No doubt about it. Yes. Out of this whole thing, at least we got a goal. It's going to be a longhorn. It's going to be a throw in or a corner? I think a corner. No, no, he actually just called it out of bounds. Riverfield. Oh. I I don't understand what the call is there. Sometimes I get a little confused with the mm, flags, yeah. but I don't know what that was. So, nope, just Riverfield ball. Going to be a goal kick here. We've got somebody tying their shoe, kind of waiting on it. Clock's ticking. Mm -hmm. Nice job by Good. Mace. Jaden Blue right there. That could have been Harris. Harris could have went and got that ball, but he let number nine, Pando, grab that one. It kind of seems like our boys have lost their fire. Yeah, I think when they see that clock and they see that score, yeah. it's tough. If it was 2-1 right now, yeah. I they think there would be a lot, a lot of fire. But um, it's tough. Down 3-1. Yeah. It's Clock's three minutes ticking. left. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know how you come back from this yeah. one. And we have like no subs, so. Oh. Man, Panda that is thrown down, and they're, they're yeah, just and not they do not want to call it. But oh, yeah, they are not calling anything now. No. They don't oh. care. Oh. Why? What is up with like the cards and all that? I know there's a yellow card and then there's a red card and yeah. all that. Yeah, so uh, you know you can get a yellow card or a red card for saying something. It's like getting mm -hmm. a technical foul okay. in, uh, in, in basketball. Okay. Um, but also for like your actions, like if you slide tackle somebody and you just hit their feet or their legs, yeah. um, or you kick them on purpose a little high or anything like that, yeah. um, it it can be yellow card or red card. It's at the referee's mm -hmm. discretion on what exactly they're going to card there. So, yeah, mm. haven't seen any of that tonight. No, no, no extra stuff. Um, that's always just, you know, for the extra stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so we have the same rule in volleyball. Okay. So, yeah, if you get out here and start saying stuff or do something stupid, you can get a yellow card or you can get a red card and get ejected. Mm. Coaches and players, technically. I've never seen it happen. With a coach? Uh, coach or player. I've never seen anybody ejected from a game uh. in volleyball. Uh, I seen in basketball, a uh, mom got kicked out for saying something. <laughs> that was funny. That's going to be offsides. Big offsides on Eddie right there. It wasn't even <laughs> close. I mean, that got everybody like, oh, like, ooh, yeah, and then I yeah, like, yeah, whoa. I saw he was offsides immediately. That wasn't going to go. Well. Unless something drastic happens in the last minute, uh, like the Longhorns, back -back. yeah, you're not gonna get it in a minute. No. Uh, the Longhorns are gonna end up losing this one, falling to three and four in the district. And we um, just got a, a couple of seconds here, like forty seconds left in the game. Yeah. Yeah. So again, fall, falling to three and four in the district. They will still maintain their fifth place spot, but the top four make it to the playoffs. So 
unfortunately, it, unless something weird happens, yeah. um, the, the, the Longhorns most likely will finish in fifth place in the district, regardless of what happens against Verdigris next week. Uh, without some help, they're not going to be able there to make the playoffs. But the deal is, second year of a program, that was first a little year, bit of the wind yeah. caught in catching yeah. that. First year playing oh, varsity. Number, call a foul right there. Number four is still down. Yeah, but fir Looks first year playing varsity um, to to be defeated. even in the in the conversation to making playoffs is a huge deal. So big shout out to our boys. Mm -hmm. Just some final stats here. Yeah. Riverfield and Inola. Riverfield has six shots on goal compared to Inola's seven. But they get three to fall, and Inola only gets one. Inola kicks five corner kicks to Riverfield's mm -hmm. four. But, again, th those two goals by 18, Harper, were the difference. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, Chloe, thanks for filling in this last the second half. You are totally welcome. Yeah, so thanks for filling I'll in for Caden. <laughs> uh, we are going to take off here, guys. Thank you so much for yep. tuning in to Spring Homecoming, tuning into the girls' game, the boys' game tonight. Uh, we couldn't do this without a few of you guys watching us. Uh, if we had zero viewers, I don't know that they would uh, – fund us anymore so we appreciate yeah. you yes, guys thank you and uh we, the next at. we will catch you next week we will catch you next week on yeah. longhorn tv as we bring you inola's district baseball playoff action oh, yeah, right here I in inola thursday friday saturday keep an eye out on the social media stuff mm -hmm. um for us we will be broadcasting the playoff baseball here in inola so thank you guys yeah. we'll catch you next week thank you bye